What's up, everybody? Next week, our episode for the free for all music extravaganza. We have uh, our returning guest, Megan, coming back on the show. Our choices are Megan's choice is um, Still, the album Still by Nine Inch Nails. The song, highlight song to listen to is And All That, and All That Could Have Been. Fuck, I'm going to redo this. Nope. Okay. (laughs) Nope. All right. Uh, Bill's choice is by the album Warmones by the band Mutoid Man. The highlight song to check out is Date with the Devil. Sounds like a good time. And then my choice is the EP uh, Little Stars by Misagi. And the song that I'm choosing for the highlight song is Mono Pink Dream 2001. So check them out. We'll be talking about them next week. Perfect. So enjoy the episode. Hey. Watch it. Hello, world of the internet. Welcome to another episode of Nothing's for No One. I'm Jason. And I'm Bill. Today we have the studious entrepreneur, Mr. Adrian Luis Perez. Howdy. Joining us. How are you? I'm good. How How are you? How y'all doing? Doing pretty good. Not bad. (laughs) Tired. I'm tired today. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out. uh, Yeah. (laughs) Today's especially though. Shout out to Sam for letting me use her car to get here today. Mm. I appreciate you and love you very much. Thank you. Oh, wow. Um, what are you so tired from? Uh, we had a couple people over at the apartment last night and just hanging out. And I have definitely have one of those weed hangovers that uh, your lady was talking about mm-hmm. this morning. Where it's, yeah. it's just like your head is like so like, ugh, like you still feel high. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. I actually, it's not as bad. I've had worse weed hangovers than this for sure, where it's just like you smoke a bunch. Or recently, I went to a dispensary trip to pick up a bunch of stuff for my mom, and I had like the dispensary I go to actually does like rewards points. Mm -hmm. So I had enough rewards points to get a couple bags of like uh, edibles. Mm -hmm. So I got some gummies. Nice. And I've been. Which place did you go to? I go to Greenhouse, Mm -hmm. which is in Skokie. Cool. Um, I go there because the sales tax is a little, little less brutal than Chicago. Yeah. They have a lot more stock than like anywhere else I've been to in Chicago. Yeah. And like, I just, I just like it better. It's, it's the system is way better. Like I'm not waiting forever in line. It's a really big facility. Okay. The, I couldn't remember cause you had mentioned this place before and we, Tracy and I went to Me- MedMen. Have you mm-hmm. ever been to MedMen? Mm-hmm. That's the place that we went to yesterday. Uh, in I Evanston? Yeah. And I couldn't remember if, it, if that was the one that you're talking about no greenhouse is different greenhouse is in skokie i okay. would recommend going there next because cool. like i hated men men when really? i went yeah i went it was i just had a bad experience Listen, I w- sorry go ahead you know you go i ahead. went a couple weeks after like weed was legalized here yeah and like i wanted to buy a bunch of shit but i went later in the day and like i didn't realize that like uh they were out of like everything mm-hmm. and like they handed you like a paper menu to just look at shit mm-hmm. and it was just like you're in this white room and like you don't even see anything it just wasn't a good experience yeah, like weird greenhouse is cool because you go in there and it looks like a fucking apple store yeah. and there's like display <laughs> cases full of shit you could walk in and people will show you like different products and stuff that they have yeah. it's not so i mean maybe men men's probably it's i would imagine it being different than it now than it was when i first went but it, is greenhouse comparable to the place that we were in in canada the the place that we, it was it's like better, a, than that. better than that okay. yeah it's better they have I, much more of a selection than that that's cool yeah i have to go to that place oh, yeah do you remember that i forget what that was called that place in yeah. canada yeah, it felt like a staples yeah it was really cool <laughs> it was cool <laughs> yeah, yeah it was it. cool it's like it. a big chain dispensary they had out there i forget what it's called but we went there to buy yeah. you bought that tincture shit the I spray did, remember that spray yeah oh man I miss the spray. Yeah, the spray was sick. <laughs> so, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was like a mouth spray, like a topical spray. Huh. I remember I did like three. We played a, what was that show? It was like in Zoo St. Marie at that weird hotel. Do you oh, remember yeah, that? Yeah. We got a Lots room there and yeah. like I was just not having a good day. And then Adrian was just like, oh, why don't you just have a couple sprays and yeah. like chill out for a little bit? I'm like, all right. 
So I took yeah. like three of those sprays and I fell. I like literally fell asleep on the bed for like four hours. I slept through the whole show and you called me to be like, we're loading oh, out. Where are yeah. you? And I was like, whoa, I just fell asleep. But it worked pretty good. Yeah. I knocked the fuck out. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, I miss that shit too. I wonder if you could buy that here. I'm sure. I haven't even looked. Why not? It's gotta be somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like you can get like weed in like any form now. It yeah. seems like yeah, <laughs> no limit to the imagination of what yeah. you can do with it. It is cool. They make weed butter. I saw they sold weed pretzel nuggets at mm. that uh, greenhouse yeah. store. That's nice. See yeah. what they got to do is they they got to like have a a dispensary that's also like a snack shop. Yeah, you know, it, like not not that everything has to have weed in it, but it also s- sells like regular snacks. old yeah, oh, sna- snacks. Yeah. Don't that seems like that would be a money right? maker, right? For at, at least at the checkout. Yeah, because yeah. otherwise candy bars there, you're gonna you know? have to like hit two spots then. Yeah, because you're gonna want to get snacks. Yeah, hmm. this is a new business idea. I know. <laughs> I don't think that shit will happen until it becomes like federally legal, like, and it becomes more of a common place. Because like the yeah. reason there's so many restrictions and like guidelines at all these dispensaries is because it's like not federally legal. It's not mm-hmm. federally legal over the country, so they have to like do all these weird rules and regulations and shit in order oh, for them to like cool. operate. Yeah. yeah. So it's like that's like an interesting one. Nate told me about was like um, how technically in Illinois, at least in Illinois, I don't know what it what it's like for other states yet, but I'm pretty sure it's like across the board. Like you could technically not make a credit or debit purchase on for to buy weed at a dispensary. Yeah. You have to pay cash. But what mm. some dispensaries will do is like they'll do an ATM charge on your card. So essentially it's like they're taking cash out and mm. you get charged your ATM fee. And that way you could oh. use your card. So it's like, it's a weird transaction where it's right. like, you know, they're still getting the cash technically, but it's like, does that make any sense? Am I doing yeah, a bad no, job no, no, explaining no, no, no. this? Yeah. Sense. It's just definitely the reason why I'm rolling my eyes. is that It's just so stupid, like, come on. Yeah. yeah. This is what you have to do. I mean, it's convenient yeah. for people that don't want to carry cash, but like I, the greenhouse, there's a chase like right across the street. Mm-hmm. So I go to the chase oh, and just get yeah. my money beforehand. And then yeah. I just, yeah, I try not to like touch cash in the pandemic. Cause it's like, I feel like money is so fucking dirty as yeah, it man. is. Somebody's and then it's w- like, like wipe their booty on. Yeah, exactly. Stuff. So imagine how many fucking germs are on those things. It's like, use a hand sanitizer. I do all the time. <laughs> my parents, like all they do is fucking use cash and it drives me nuts. Why? Like it's so because it's so my dad will like lick his finger and then go through like a stack of 20s. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> you know, I'm pretty sure he doesn't give a fuck, but still, it's yeah, just kind of like this far, right? Yeah, uh, fuck it. <laughs> well, he's like, he'll be like, I ride the CTA every day. I mean, that, I ride it every day. He's gonna hear me he saying me, this, yeah. he's gonna hear me saying this on the episode when he listens to it, and he's gonna come downstairs to my apartment and be like, I'm on the CTA every day. <laughs> so, Say it through the door, yeah. And then yeah. I'll be like, Tell Adrian and Bill, tell Adrian and Bill. <laughs> he told me when, when I helped you move, yeah. yeah he's like, I ride the CTA every yeah, day, that yeah. Like this corona, <laughs> that's fair. That's, I mean, that is. He does go to work every day. It's pretty fucking wild. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he wears his mask and shit. And yeah, somehow he has been fine. We went to, before we moved, I had to go, um, like my dad saved a bunch of like paper boxes for me to like put shit in when we were moving. Mm -hmm. We went to his, uh, he works out of one South Wacker, like that big building down there. That's got like, (laughs) Danny used to work there before he was doing what he does. I wonder, I wonder if I've worked in that one, but go on. Yeah. And we went in there and like, there's all this like, it was just weird because like there's security clearance to get into the building, but then mm-hmm. like once we got up to his floor and like his office, like it was just because like he's one. There's not a lot of people that are working out of that office. It's like him and a, a handful sure. of others. Yeah. Most people are working from home, so just like looking at this like giant office space, like <laughs> dead mm-hmm. with like just kind of like clumps of shit and you know like shit, but just like yeah, that's it. Wait, Cassie, I have to show my dad. He he remembers like every building. Yeah, that's a nice in. phone, man. What is that, Samsung? The uh, Note seventy five thousand. Oh, wow, <laughs> yeah. Look at the. The Samsung make the Note. Oh, that's big, man. Yeah, Samsung. Okay. So wait, can I compare mine with yours? How big is the size? It's not, it's not the size that counts, Adrian. Uh, <laughs> how you use the phone? You what phone yeah. do you have? Oh, that's I, that I have a Samsung. Well, mine is just because I have the case. The case makes it. Look so do a I. Bit like, but yours is wider. I think your guys not is big. Much. Both just of yours like are bigger than mine. Really? Well, that's the Apple Plus, that's right? That's pretty big. Yeah. We're, we're almost, oh, it's pretty yeah, close, yeah, actually. Yeah, Wait, what do you close. have? Uh, Samsung Galaxy S10. Oh, okay. And this is the, yeah. the 20. Yeah. Oh, Damn, they made 10 in between? 
No. Uh, oh. Just, for whatever they skipped. Like, Apple does that shit, too. Well, they, they did the X, up. which was confusing, and yeah. then the X became the 10, became, and now yeah, they yeah, skipped all the names or something like that. I wish they would just name it by, like, the no, year they did eight. or something. They that skipped would, nine. Nine. So yeah, so, I, don't, I, I don't get it. But so it's, I mean, confusing. look at it. Like, PlayStation has kept it real so far. I know. One, two, three, four, five, whereas, like, Xbox has been, oh, like, God. oh, God. What, yeah. what are they and now? Then, Xbox Series X. Yes. Yeah, which is the Series X. X. Why don't you yeah. just call it Xbox X? Oh, I think it's the because C- there's a Series X and then the Series S, right? Because one of them no. is like, yeah, <laughs> the Series. I thought the Series S was a 360, but like the nicer one when they do like the the next model up. Like I like thought the, the Series, Elite, and then like before that wasn't there the S. Maybe it was just the Xbox know, One Xboxes. S. I have no there's idea. A, <laughs> Xbox Series S, I believe, is the digital only version. Hmm. Uh, you know, because so that's what buy, like physical, physical games. games. Yeah, yeah there's no download everything. Sony and Xbox did this where they put like uh, a, a version of the console where it's like I think it's like the PS5 Pro or whatever, and it comes with a disc drive so you could still put in games. Yeah. And then Xbox did the same thing where I think it's the Series X and the Series S, but I could be wrong. I, mean, I don't know. It's hard to keep up. With yeah, all that stuff. But yeah, yeah. They took the drives out of them, so it's like it saves you like a hundred bucks, which is yeah, saves okay. you some money. Yeah. But I like having the games, yeah, even though like, yeah, you know what? And the more I think about it too, it's just kind of like, you're not really getting much by owning the games, like getting like most games don't even come with manuals anymore, you yeah, know, like you instruction did. manuals or anything online. I miss yeah. those, man. I, miss I know. The manuals. I, I liked, I mean, I, I'm not trying to be like romantic about it. I don't give a fuck if it's all downloadable, <laughs> but like just real talk though, like buying yeah. the game and then there's like the, the sticker at the top that you peel that off yeah. mm-hmm. and and you open it up and there's like the booklet and then all the other like pamphlet bullshit yeah. advertising, advertising stuff that you get. Sometimes a poster. Yeah, sometimes awesome. sometimes a map as yes, a poster. A map, yeah, Grand yeah. Theft yeah. Auto had yeah. those. Yeah, oh, did that's they? the shit, that's awesome. man. That's the shit. I miss that yeah. too, yeah. yeah. I miss buying a uh, Nintendo 64, like the little cardboard box like that. Yeah. It's yeah. like weird like dividers on the inside yep. and stuff. Yeah, the, like the, so on, the, the game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's just sick. Yeah. Oh, man. Crazy. Yeah, good times, man. But yeah, now it's like you buy a Switch game, you just get a little card in a little box. There's no manual, and I'm like, why am I doing this? But yeah. and then on top of that, the resale value is like not that great. It's been yeah. destroyed over the years. Yeah, damn. Yeah, I mean it's the same price. There's some games though that I wish I like just bought digitally for the convenience sake instead of me having to get up and put a different game in and not. But it's also right. like, what am I, a piece of shit? Like, come on. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's not that hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, why? Where are you going with this? It's interesting, though, how all that shit's playing out. And I could tell you how much I don't really give a fuck about getting a PS5 or an Xbox right now. Because yeah. I really don't. <laughs> well, I just don't care. It's just what, like... What was the last one you got? Uh, PS4 was the last system I bought. Is Nintendo still your favorite? Yeah, I would say I so. so. I think so. I think yeah. so because like I like those types of games more because mm. it's like it's easier for me to play. I don't get like my ass handed to me right off the bat. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. it's like every time I've tried a game like uh, PUBG or yeah, Call of Duty, or Call of Duty. Those, yeah, like, it's just what? like it's not even fun. <laughs> yeah, it's not even like yeah. like I, I tried. I um, played one of those in so fucking long. Yeah, like, what yeah. do you play? Uh, mostly you, just like whatever single person like RPG RPG yeah. like action adventure games. For like, sure. yeah. yeah. I don't really like first person. Like I do like Halo, like first yeah. person. Oh hell yeah. It's got a great yeah. story, but as far as like competitive gaming goes, mm-hmm. I'm over it. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. I'm not good enough and it's just like why would I want to put myself through that? Like yeah. I don't get it. And then you have like games like was it Dark Souls or it's like it takes away the multiplayer aspect mm-hmm. and then ruins the single player by making it brutally tough. And it's like, why are you yeah, doing this to yourself? Like the thing that I've heard, I've never played that game. I don't even know what it looks like. But the one thing that I've heard more than anything is how hard it is. Yeah. Like how difficult that it's, game is. It's because it's supposed to be kind of like a throwback to like the old school games and like how difficult those were, mm. you know? And, uh, it kind of takes a lot from like the Ninja Gaiden games that came out afterward, like the next generation of them where those are fun. Cause you can actually put it on a difficulty set. And it's not super hard and you can make it. Oh, through. cool. Um, but those were like notorious for being like some of the hardest games ever. If, mm-hmm. if you ramped it up to the point where it was like almost impossible. But then that became such a popular thing. People were like, Oh, it's like, it's, you know, it's so hard. You gotta, be, yeah. you gotta beat it. Yeah. 
and that be, and then that's kind of what birthed like Dark Souls and all that. They're yeah, like, ooh, like people want that, so mm-hmm. let's do it. And I don't know. I've seen those Dark Souls games, and to be honest, they don't look all that great. Yeah, they're very just like bleh looking. Yeah, and it's really more about the gameplay, which. Do you mean yeah, like the cool graphics? Yeah, like okay. graphics, the design. Like I don't know. It's it, I've seen people play. It, I've seen it on TV, and I'm just like, yeah, it doesn't look that appealing. Me, yeah, same know? for sure. It's and like the main character is just some guy. Yeah, it's nothing. I don't know. And like if you ask anybody about the storyline, they can't tell you shit about it. <laughs> yeah, you know? it's so weird. I'm just like, whatever. It's really hard. Yeah, they're just like, it's really hard. And like you know, the combat is great. And I'm like, yeah, great. I mean, that's okay. if that's for you. Cool. Yeah, for sure. Then that's <laughs> awesome. But yeah, for me personally, and I seems like you too it's like yeah i could never play those really have a good story those dark soul games they put they put the first one on switch like remastered and like oh really yeah i'll never play it i don't care it's not I, fun I to me they gave one away on xbox once and yeah. i played it for like 30 minutes and that yeah. was it and i was like this just looks boring like, i think i i have a uh, bloodborne it was yeah. one of the free ps4 mm-hmm. games the reason i bought a ps4 was because like uh, that game Death Stranding came out, and mm-hmm. I really wanted to play that, and I was just like, "Fuck it, I'll do it." And um, you, you got it, and you played it. I never beat it because it's really fucking hard. Yeah, it's like one of those games that where it's like there's so much micromanagement to it. Mm-hmm. I just can't wrap my head around it. It's like so much to under. It's like learning how to like. It's like learning a job, like like getting <laughs> right. trained for yeah. like a job, and I'm just like, man, I don't want to play games <laughs> like this. Like yeah. I love the story, and I really one day I'm gonna it make myself awesome. play that game. Yeah. That- that's how I feel about like, and the I'm not gonna say it's the reason why I never finished it, but like Final Fantasy X. Yeah. Like any any games like that where it feels like you have to learn something like a, a whole new game within yeah. the game that already exists. Just that's I don't, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. check out like in yeah. Final Fantasy X. Uh, what was the game that a uh, Blitzball? Yeah. I never learned Blitzball. Not that you have to learn the uh-huh. Albed language, but you have to find like. So there are these people called the Albed and they speak their own language. And one of the collectibles in the game is you find like, I think they're like dictionaries or something. Okay. And every dictionary translates one letter. So, oh you, can, so you have to find yeah. those throughout the game. Right. And it's like, I don't really care what this is. What right. Yeah. I mean, I know it's, it's part of the story and everything, but like I could kind of infer what's good. You, you can guess, you can right. guess what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Without understanding, Without to do yeah, that. yeah, and it's. I think it's that's just fine. part of like because collectibles yeah. are a big thing in games. Like, one hundred percenting a game, like yeah, people that are like completionists yeah. and shit. And it's yeah. terrible. Like, <laughs> it's it's like oh, yeah. detrimental to my you know time or yeah, yeah, like that. Where they're just like you got to find every dumb little piece of something that you don't even need. Yeah. It doesn't like Bioshock. Add anything? Bioshock. Yeah, Bioshock yeah, Bioshock, Bioshock, Bioshock get a lot, lot of those. Yeah. Grand Theft Auto had those. Yeah, yeah. a I lot did. of games like Bat- the Batman series games. Like, yeah, they're all like that, and I have hundred percent those games multiple times wow yeah which is terrible like, <laughs> like, uh, i think the only i i don't know banjo kazooie like, yeah, talk banjo, about collectibles I, dude i i 100 percent that game many times yeah many times that did you game, ever do tui uh 100 percent. yeah i don't think i don't think 100 percent because that game had like a lot more like collectible elements to it mm-hmm. that required a lot of like backtracking and it was just too much for me yeah I mean, it's a child's game, so I could, I could, I'm an adult. I can go back and beat I, it. I could do 100% it. 100% now, it. no yeah. problem. <laughs> I want to play that ukulele game and like yeah. from scratch and do that again. Yeah, I want to do that. That's a cool one. What the hell's the ukulele <laughs> game? Uh, it's a game that was made by the same, like the old Rare team. Uh. Um, before like they got bought out by Microsoft and shit, it was a crowdfunded game. It's essentially like a spiritual successor to Banjo Kazooie. It's like that type of platformer uh, where it's like a ton of collectibles, like it's open world. So whistle. yeah, <laughs> it's uh it's cool though. Like it's like it's a sick game. Like you, I showed it to Adrian because I have it on my Switch. He ended up playing it for like hours yeah, on tour. I, I like oh really? yeah, yeah. yeah it's very much in the same vein. It's made by like the same people. Like the <laughs> same dude who did the soundtrack to Banjo Kazooie did that, and yeah. like soundtrack to Banjo Kazooie is fucking un- <laughs> killer. That, all right, I know, I know. All right, Go I know. On. I don't play that many video games. I <laughs> yeah. know that my library is not as wide as your guys. It's okay, library, fine. But <laughs> <laughs> dude. Banjo Kazooie, Shadow Man, Final Fantasy X, best soundtracks. Yeah, best soundtracks, man. Oh my god, I keep coming back to it. I like woke up thinking about the Shadow Man soundtrack. The other day. <laughs> <laughs> I was like playing it in my head, like Doo. they're remastering Doo. that game. Yeah, I'm not no, familiar with that one. Oh, dude, Shadow Man oh, Sick. What is dude. what is that for? Oh, dude. Uh, what was the N64 <laughs> and PlayStation? I think and, and uh, PC. I put. I okay. originally played it on PC. 
Okay. And uh, it's just like a like a, a horror gore like uh, uh, not cool. for thir- third person. Okay. Um, and it's just a fucking cool game. That like the the design that went into it, like the soundtrack, the enemies are really cool. All the weapons, the weapons are fucking awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a, all the the sound design in that game too is fucking ah. It's just a it's just a well, really well made game. Oh. It's, a, it's a well put together game, and I, I I find it very fun. And it's dark. It's mm-hmm. really dark. It's a dark fucking game. Like the violence in that one. That's yeah. why I didn't like when they came out with a, a Shadow Man two. Like all of the the enemies, they just felt like kind of cartoony. Yeah, and it, this it then it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same. Kind For, of like uh, akin to Dead Space. Yeah, like in terms of the violence yeah like, and like yeah and yeah definitely nature of it yeah like, like people exploding and shit yeah, like yeah. that yeah mm-hmm. that's a fun yeah, one yeah, yeah. that's one of my favorite yeah. series dead space yeah, yeah, dead i've never space played cool, it man. that's a yeah, horror cool. space game yeah. right yeah yeah it's fun man it's very, yeah. like yeah yeah like aliens-esque you know? yeah like clearly they took some ideas from that which yeah. is great like the thing is like a big yes part of that oh thing. hell yeah. yeah that's cool which i was bummed i uh Cause I always watch a movie like every Saturday morning I was going through and I was like, Oh, the thing they have it on HBO. I thought it was the OG one. Oh, and it's the it's sequel, the which I like thing. the sequel. I own the sequel and I like it and everything, yeah. but yeah. Uh, I just really wanted to see the original. I was like, fuck. Yeah. I was like, OG, I need to just get that. It's OG's so good. The best when uh, it's so fucking good. I, I like, I've watched that one so many times that I remember the dialogue, like the inflection in my head. Mm. And <laughs> like when Wilford, Wilford Brimley's character, he's like locked out. And he's tr- he's like asking him to come back in, and he's like, "All right, you guys can let me in now. I'm much better now. <laughs> yeah. I always remember that, that way line. He says I'm that. much better <laughs> now." <laughs> That's a great movie. <laughs> it is, it is a good movie. Awesome movie. So fucking. Isn't there awesome a game? Movie. Didn't they make a thing game? I'm pretty so, sure they did. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, but I've never yeah. seen it. Before. Yeah, yeah, I've never played it either. Yeah, shit. yeah, the sequel cracked me because everybody was just like, nobody asked for this. And I was like, you're right. <laughs> but it, was yeah. it got ruined though just because of like uh, studio interference because they, they uh, tried really hard to do more like the original where it was like all practical effects. Yeah. And the studio was like, nah, throw some CGI in there. People like yeah. CGI and it just ruins it. Yeah, yeah it really does. And you can go online and you can see like the original versions of them and you're like, this looks a million times yeah, better. Way cooler. Way, way cooler. cooler. The, yeah. The, 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 what's this called? The defibrillator. Oh, the defibrillator. Yeah. yeah, when he in the first he one he puts does his that. Hand and his, oh, that's that's the sickest <laughs> it shit. Looks man. So great. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> and like when you see the computer stuff, it just takes you out of it. And you're like, eh. Yeah. All yeah. Right. This is obviously the other stuff is fake, but it just looks somewhat faker. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, uh, definitely. Definitely. It definitely bummer, takes you out of it. Have you guys ever played the game Until Dawn? Mm-mm. It was for PS4. Oh, I did you that. play that? No, no, no. It looks awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's the one where it's like you could do multiple playthroughs, right? Yeah, it's like a it's horror different. game. It's not like survival horror. It's like it's almost like a cinematic game where it's like you just make decisions and you watch what happens, kind of. But there's exploration to it too. Is that kind of like Mass Effect style? I'm not, I've no, never played I think that it's game. More like but... uh, Heavy Rain, right? The people that did that. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. like that. That I one think. Was, that was a phenomenal game. I never really? played that, yeah. but I want to. It's awesome. What like that it? one's like one of my favorites i've played other ones since like uh what's detroit yeah and it's not as good Wait, what, I don't know. what style of game is that is it horror? i don't even I, sort I of really like suspense but it's like not it's almost like you're playing through a movie okay. it's just yeah, kind of like yeah, not okay. a, it's more like focused on the story and cinematic rather than like the actual game yeah, play there's, no, there's really no action element to it like you're not you don't need to like fight stuff you kind of have those moments mm-hmm. but it's almost like a point and click yeah okay but in like this war, I don't know. It's cool. And what's great is you could do multiple playthroughs. Yeah. Cause it's like a choose your own adventure kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Um, heavy rain was the best one of them all. Uh, Oh yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I've tried other ones since. And for whatever reason, I'm like, I always check out after a little mm-hmm. bit. Like I tried mm-hmm. really hard with, uh, I want to play the Detroit one. I never played heavy rain. It's the one, uh, the two souls or something like that. I don't know. That one, I got pretty far, but then I was like, I'm just not invested in this anymore. Uh, but Heavy Rain was great. The story, too, it's awesome. And yeah, it's pretty short, which I think is another reason why I like yeah, it more than the other ones. The other ones seem longer. Mm. Yeah. And the reason I play, I, the reason Nintendo is my favorite is because I feel like, I feel, I still feel like, at least like with those games, it's really designed for like you to have a good experience on your mm-hmm. own. Yeah. Or it's designed where it's like, it's fun to like play. I still love playing video games with people in the same room. Yeah. Like yeah, most of those definitely. games, like the multiplayer is made for that shit. And yeah. it's so much fun. Like we played Mario party last night at our place. Yeah. And it was fun. Like everybody played like, you know, everybody's like razzing each other mm-hmm. and like, you know, 
trying to win and it's it's just like a lot of fun i i would definitely not not that i've even played that many like nintendo games recently but just from afar i would definitely agree that those games are designed to like have a good fun gaming experience yep. as opposed to like like a movie experience yeah. or something like some you know next gen games exactly are. yeah it kind of is a lot of them that's why i haven't like really played that many new ones like i just feel like it just takes the experience out out of it like i don't i don't i mean my, all right it, feel free to disagree but i just sure. feel like so many like game stories and like the dialogue and shit it's fucking corny man yeah it's so corny sometimes yeah. most yeah, of the I time agree. like i i can't even think of a game where i'm like yeah this act the voice acting is good the the script is good like the it all makes <laughs> sense and like yeah. I'm, i believe it like most of the time it feels like a caricature of what <laughs> like video games are supposed to feel like like corny oh yeah 100 percent. i you think know? Like, that's, that's kind of the, the thing. last thing that they would probably work out. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's like a good point. Good point. They're yeah. just like, fuck it. Get anybody in there. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it depends on the game too. And like who is involved. Like yeah. there's a lot of great, you know, voice actors out there that do phenomenal job. But the yeah. problem is I feel like at this point, there's such a high priced profile, like voice actor. Yeah. That most studios are like, we're not putting the money into that. Yeah. Like, fuck totally. that. Like, sorry, like get anybody to do it. Like whatever engineer is standing next to you, like just throw them on a mic. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it always ends up coming out so hokey. And then totally. like, I don't know. And I think it's difficult too. Cause you got to remember that's even your shortest video games. You know how much dialogue goes into those things? Yeah, like it's yeah. insane. So, yeah. well, I, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that they're doing a bad job. I think I'm more saying like that the style it, it's, it's almost like B horror movies. Like that's, it's, yeah. they're doing it on purpose. I, like that's what's, what's I think they do that. It. Cause it's the easiest thing to just do. That's yeah, yeah you know, because yeah. even if you're a bad actor, then it works. <laughs> yeah, know? like, yeah. and if you're a good actor, you can still do it. You yeah, know? like it doesn't matter. <laughs> you can do that B movie, very hokey. Yeah, like, yeah, like you said, like a caricature of like what you're what you expect. So, yeah, yeah, it's much easier to do that. Definitely. Yeah, I mean that's why I play Animal Crossing every day because there is no dialogue <laughs> and it's just like it's so easy. It's you like pick it up, plant some flowers, water your flowers, pick up your mail, <laughs> like yeah. go check out the clothes store and the. Yeah, catch some fish, sell them. Catch some bugs. Yeah, yeah, catch some bugs. I've caught all the bugs actually as of this past month. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because the dung beetle finally came out. It comes out in the winter. The dung beetle. Yeah, because there's a uh, there's snowballs <laughs> that spawn in the winter time, and you can make snowmen. And if you make the perfect snowman, which is like you measure two snowballs and stack them on top of each other perfectly. They'll give you like exclusive items and shit. But like, sometimes you walk outside and a dung beetle is rolling the snowball like poop, uh, but it's like, that's how, that's like the only time it comes out. Okay. So I was able to get one and completed my bug encyclopedia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about the fish? Oh, I've, I've, I've finished those like months ago. Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Uh, yeah. And there's deep sea creatures, but I got all those too. Uh, That's like my favorite part of that game. So I always like focus on that, but <laughs> yeah. So are it's you fun. playing anything now? Fortnite. Okay. Still, you're still yeah. playing that. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Still yeah. Twitch thing and everything? No. No, you stopped no, doing that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Doing that. that was fun. I, I did enjoy watching you on there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just couldn't figure out how to get it to work right on my computer and stuff. And I was just like, ah, I'm not going to put the time into this right sure. now. I have better things to do. <laughs> Fair um, like play Fortnite without, without, without <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. probably a little less pressure. Right? Yeah, it definitely looks a nuts. lot less pressure. Yeah. Definitely, the shit, the shit they've added to that game looks nuts. Oh, it's great, man. It's yeah, great. isn't like, it like Predator now? Like they're doing yeah, some the, Predator shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't really get any of the extra like skins or anything. Okay. And it's, it's funny because like the people that play that game, like the way that they. If you, if you don't get a skin, they call you a default, and there's so much like animosity towards when, default. Uh, yeah, oh, they, really? the way that people say default, it makes it sound like a racial slur or something. <laughs> wow, like this fucking default over here. Very <laughs> oh, damn. No, we got a fucking default on our team. Because like, I put any money into yeah. the game. We're yeah, fucking it's just loser. like, dude, chill. Uh, like, yeah, relax, guys. Because you're not a sucker. Like, because yeah. you're not fucking buying shit that like won't really enhance your gameplay yeah, experience. Yeah, it does it's nothing. so silly. Yeah, it does nothing. It's all. Cosmetic. It's so nuts that it that's is, yeah, yeah. one hundred percent cosmetic. That's, yeah, that's so nuts that that's like the way games are now. Yeah, like it's yeah, so it's crazy. crazy how it turned yeah. a, turned around on itself yeah, like that. Because yeah, Fortnite's yeah. technically free still, yep. right? Yep. I haven't, like, put, I haven't put a penny into that game. Hell yeah, good penny. for you. Yeah. And you probably yeah. still it's kick still, ass. It's so I yeah. <laughs> Some days I do. Some it depends because like 
every time that they update the game and it goes to like a new season, mm-hmm. your ranking goes back to zero. Oh. And the, I, uh. I think that the games that you put that they put you in, they try to like balance it out. So right. it's like if you're one, then they'll put you in like people that are with close other to one. ones. Yeah. Yeah. So like I'll do good in those games. <laughs> yeah. But then when I get to like higher ranking, yeah, I've, I've seen up to I don't know that I've seen people in the 300s. I've seen people in the 200s for ranking and like once I get up to like 80 or somewhere around there it's like that's uh, so why I like yeah, camp no, out you know yeah. Yeah, pretty, like you could hear it's funny <laughs> you can hear like when people start building and shit uh-huh. as soon as I start hearing like people building all these walls I'm like nah I'm getting the fuck out of here <laughs> yeah. fuck this shit <laughs> fuck these dudes man shit that's real yeah. uh, that's fair just throw grenades yeah and, like, it's run. wild yeah. It's so crazy how that concept of game is so big now too. Well, like battle royale shit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean it made it into the call Call of Duty stuff and that's what they plays it all the time. Like that's that like version. the new Call of Duty now, right? Isn't that like the last, what they like, do? Two have done that, I believe. Wow. That's cool. That's cool. what like I mean, it's pretty cool. I, when I played Halo two back in the day, I I always wanted to the play big the big match. Yeah, 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 the big yeah. match. Oh, yeah. I was just like I, I dreamed of sixteen or something of, like that. Yeah. It was awesome. I dreamed of matches of a hundred and you know, maybe in like five, ten years we'll get games of like a thousand. Imagine that. Oh yeah. Imagine like that, dude. Like, armies. Dude, like that would be awesome. How fucking sick is that shit? That'd be, be so cool. It'd be nuts. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. only a matter of time uh, before. They figure that I'm like out. getting excited. Think my heart's racing right now. Thinking about <laughs> yeah, that. the closest it's thing fun, I can think man. of that is like a Dynasty Warriors game. Have you ever played those? Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's I mean, like that's not, it's all yeah, single AI player. But yeah, yeah, but it's like you're on like a big yeah. and like army field. Do you play those yeah. games a lot? No, I, I never. Don't get them. I tried. They made a Zelda themed one for the Switch recently, and I tried the demo, and I didn't like it. I just like. I don't understand them. I just don't get them. Like, yeah, it's not. I don't know. It's weird, like hordes and hordes of like enemies, and then you just. I don't know. I don't Cut get me. And Nick them? tried to like play one because they gave one away for like Xbox, and uh, uh-huh. we were like playing. And Bolter was like, "I don't know what the fuck is happening. Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing anything good. I don't know if we're progressing. Yeah, like I yeah. don't like neither one of us were just totally. Well, it's kind of like they put like, you in I a stage. A yeah, people. they put you in a stage, and they give you like different objectives to do. Like sometimes it's killing. At least the Zelda yeah, demo I played. Yeah, some was of them like don't that. even do that. They're just like, here's yeah. this thing. I'm like, all right, I guess we got to kill that. Yeah. All know. of a sudden, there's yeah. like a big worm, and you're Dude, like, it's so what? fucking weird. Where did this and come then they from? They pump like five or six of those out a year. Really? Wow. Like versions of them. Like Dynasty uh, Warriors being the original, but then there's always like these offshoots of them. Oh yeah. Well yeah, they did the high. The Zelda one's called High Rule Warrior, Warriors. Uh-huh. And yeah. I will never play it again. Fuck that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. And it's not even developed by Nintendo. It's developed by like a third party. Yeah. But he's got the licensing for it. Yeah. Yeah. I, not my style so of game. Weird. Uh, yeah. No, it's not. I don't know who it's for. I've never met anybody. It's like Dynasty Warriors is my shit. I've yet. To okay. Meet yeah. <laughs> anybody out I've there is. And you can either. explain it to me. <laughs> Please do. We'll put you on the fucking show. There's got to yeah. be fans if they yeah. still yeah. make the games that much. People yeah. I mean, still they, like I'm sure said, people play them. them out. Yeah. They're up to like Dynasty Warriors like 78 or some shit. Like it's yeah. like insane how many there are now. I believe that. Well, anyway, we are here to not only talk about video games. <laughs> um, I, I could talk about Fortnite for fucking 10 hours, yeah. man. I'm down. Nate's you guys want to do that. a Fortnite episode? We're going to hear about this from Nate. <laughs> what, what? I listen to your video game talk. <laughs> yeah, I listen to this I bullshit. Really give a shit about any of that. I still listen to it. Thanks, Nate. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Nate, play Fortnite with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I don't even know what Nate would play then on his phone. <laughs> You can't. You can. can. I know, dude. I no. Nah, I'm not gonna. Get we, we let's move on. Wait, have you played it on your phone? <laughs> I tried. It's tried. it's impossible. It Is looks it, like it'd how be the, impossible. Like, how the fuck are you supposed to do play, like play against these people that are building all this crazy shit and on your phone? It's all cross platform too, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. nuts. It doesn't make sense. It fuck doesn't make that. Sense. Yeah. you can play on your phone, Whew. your tablet, the fucking uh, PC, Xbox, PS, PS, whatever. Weird. Yeah, all the PSs. Sick. Play it on a flip phone. Yeah. Well, anyway, we have uh, in the guest chair the host of the 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 newish YouTube channel, mm-hmm. yeah, newish. How to Cook Vegetables. Yep, that's right. Very yeah. sick. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah so it's you awesome. Fuck yeah. 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 It. The I videos are great. You d- you do two a week. Yeah, I'm try. It's it's. I like bust ass to do two a week. I, yeah. I my. I want to do at least one. I'm busting ass to do three. When I started, I was I was like, oh yeah, I'll do three a week, no problem. And oh wow, dude, no, nah, nah, right? Brutal, yeah, man. yeah. It's on a lot paper, it sounds it's easy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I want one day. I'll get up to three a week when I have like the right gear for it. Because like right now, it's just like the setup 
set yeah. up time for all this stuff just takes so long. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I got to like test the recipes and uh, just getting groceries and shit. It's just like a lot of moving parts. So one day I'll get up to three. Hell yeah. So yeah. what inspired you to do this? Because I remember, you know, months back mm-hmm. when the pandemic was sort of like first getting underway. Yeah. I know you wanted to do something on youtube yeah but i remember you had so many different ideas and so many different like versions of this until you got to where you're at now so what was that like uh it's a long journey yeah all right like i remember when youtube first started i think it started in 2005 it was 2005 six or seven one of those years and i remember you know back then it was like cat videos and just like silly shit yeah and i remember that i started seeing vlogs and not that they were of any like quality or anything but i remember watching them and and just having this thought of like oh i want to like talk on camera and do some shit Mm -hmm. you know and i remember i i uh (laughs) my dad did a little bit of photography so he had like a, a backdrop stand and i set it up but i set it up between the living room and the dining room so that way nobody could see in the living room uh, like, I remember that. Yeah. I, I set up my uh, uh, tripod. I put the camera on it. I sat in front of the camera and I was like, <gasps> and I immediately took it down because I was like too shy. <laughs> no, no clue what to say. I didn't, wow. was just like, I, don't, right. this isn't, I can't, I can't do this <laughs> yeah. right now. And uh, I don't know. I just feel like, oh, and I also had like a, at one point I had a, a cartoon on YouTube that I drew, I drew on paper and I would like trace. It was like a, like flip book style yeah uh and it had hundreds of thousands of views if not millions of views but then i i I did this in like seventh or eighth grade and then i i deleted it because i I was like embarrassed of it (laughs) whoa (laughs) and through the years i've always been like oh man i see all these people doing like doing shit like on youtube like i figure something out you know yeah and uh yeah then the pandemic happened and i don't know i was just like scrolling through ideas like first i was like oh i'll do a pottery channel but like i'm not even that good at pottery yet i i toyed with it because i took a that woodworking class at Mm -hmm. um what's that place called the reach the refurbish the they have all the i'm not sure ah the place that you you told me about it it's on armitage salvage one no, it's like near there. It's on Armitage and like Clybourne. Um, fuck. I don't know. I'm the place sure. that they bring all like the old wood from like torn down buildings and oh, stu- that w- stuff. That was Salvage One. That was one of them, but there's an, oh, I can't God, think of the other one. I don't remember the name of the place. Whatever that place is, I took a class there and, and in my head I was like, oh, I'll do like woodworking because I, I was watching so many like pottery videos with just videos of people making stuff mm-hmm. and yeah event eventually it was just like oh i'll do like a channel because i like making shit i like i'm my happiest when i could just wake up and be like oh i want to make this today and just like go and do it you okay. know like no matter what it is if it's like i want to learn how to make a fucking table like i want to have the freedom to be able to just like get up and figure it out and learn how to do that like if it's pottery same shit if it's cooking same shit um, so I was like, oh, I'll do a channel like that where it's just like, oh yeah, it's like documenting the learning process of yeah. like how to, how to make any given thing and like, you know, documenting the, the problems and challenges. Is that my phone? Sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> um, problems and challenges and like the learning process and I don't know, just like documenting, getting like good at any given, you know, craft. Mm-hmm. Um, but that was just too, uh, scattered and i wasn't good enough at any one thing for that to make sense and um just throughout the summer i was taking i was just watching a lot of like lectures i was reading a lot of books and i started at one point i was like i had the idea that i wanted to go i still want to go back to college but like i was like well i can't go now so i just like buy some classes Mm -hmm. online just like whatever and i eventually found this um youtube class that teaches you about like search engine optimization and like like how to like start yeah that's really sick yeah it was dude i'm so cool that 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 exists yeah yeah there's there's a lot of them but the i'm really happy with the one that i got it's like 
I don't know how long the class is, but it's pro- it's over. It's got to be over thirty hours of a class, and I bought it the I think the week before Thanksgiving, and I binged through it for like two or three weeks, just like learning, uh, yeah, just how like how to start a YouTube channel like properly, and like how to grow on YouTube, and like the the possibilities that can come with that. And, um, basically the, the way that that class is structured is, is more like, instead of just starting like, oh, I'm going to do this thing. It's like, start by finding clarity with what you want to do. Um, and for that, it was like, what, what would you do for free? Like what, what could you talk about for like fucking hours, you know? And Mm -hmm. what would you be able to do? For hours and you wouldn't like you'd be happy to do it without like getting paid for it um i might, I might get this wrong but i'm gonna try to get it right so like what would you do for free um what are you like actually good at like what are you skillful at mm-hmm. and then what is there like an actual demand for and for me like the thing that's the easiest with that is cooking like yeah. for sure i could talk about cooking and i'm happy like the thing that I spend the most money on that I shouldn't spend the most money on is ingredients. Like for sure. I'm all, <laughs> like, dude, I could go to the grocery store and like, I could fuck that place up, man. Hell yeah. I'll get, <laughs> I'll That's fill awesome. that card up. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> like, I mean, I went, I went to culinary school. I've been working in restaurants and I, I know, pr- I pretty much know what I'm talking about. And if I don't like, I have so many cookbooks to like reference and go back to. And I, I know enough about cooking that even if it's not in my cookbook, I know how to find the information that I, Mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, there's, there's, will always be a a demand for like food information. Oh yeah. yeah. There'll always be a demand for that. Cause there's like, you know, it's a fun thought. There's, there's, there will always be beginners and there will always be more beginners than there are experts, Mm -hmm. you know? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Oh, with cooking, especially. Yeah. 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 I I'd, I'd say and this is probably I guess I should disclaimer it by saying yeah. what I mostly see like as far as like the YouTube community goes, yeah. when I'm on my YouTube experience yeah. is like food and video games. Yeah. It's those two that I see like sky at least from my angle it seems to be skyrocketing yeah, like definitely. Guys, this this whole like I've while cuz Sam is really big into YouTube mm-hmm. and YouTubers and like I've always been like aware of YouTube as a culture and a community yeah. and like as a means of like expression, I guess you could say, but I, I've never really like delved into that. Most yeah. of the shit I watch on YouTube is like music videos, band interviews, shows, all like music shit. Yeah. And podcasts, and podcasts, you know, yeah. but it's like a podcast. I'm like, well, do I really classify it as a YouTuber or a podcast? Cause it's like, you know, you could listen to most of this shit on Spotify or mm. anywhere. You know, like mm. I like watching podcasts on YouTube. Like I always listen to your mom's house on YouTube. Like, um, you know, I mean, whatever I, is available on there. The, the more visual, visual Same. aspect of a yeah. podcast. Yeah. But it's like I, I don't know. Like I watch. Like I've, I've been trying to like understand YouTube more because Sam watches a lot of it, and mm. like there is some cool shit there. Like I've been trying to watch this dude. Um, He's a, it's a video game guy. His name is the completionist mm-hmm. and he just goes through his games and like literally completes them and tells you everything you have to do. Wow, but like, cool. yeah, that's it's a, that's it's a, a cool idea. Channel, man. And like, it's huge. He's yeah. got a ton of subscribers. Like he makes like, that's what he does for a living. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. you know, he's got his own office and shit. It's like, wow, this is yeah. insane to me that it got that big when it's just like, I'm sitting in my fucking underwear watching this shit. You know yeah. what I mean? It's just like <laughs> so casual and like, the, like I, the one gripe I always have about some of these YouTubers is like, sometimes the personality is so overwhelming and I'm like, this guy's just not fucking funny. Like, yeah. can you just cut this shit out or cut that shit out? Like, you know, like I love your channel cause it's so like, it's so focused and so just not like you're trying to like impress anybody, yeah. which is awesome. It's just like, it's clean. It sounds good. It looks good. Oh, like you. all the ingredients are there. All the steps are there. It's just like, wow, this is like the shit i would wish every youtube channel was like this where it was just like <laughs> bare bones like that. just tell me what's up well, you know I mean, like well, I, it depends Everybody's i get different. it you know people yeah. like are entertainers and shit like that it makes sense to but me i understand yeah. like some of those personalities that try to be bigger than they are is definitely a turnoff yeah at least yeah. i know i mean obviously they have like millions of subscribers so it works well, you well, know, yeah some, yeah i'm not i'm not good at being like an entertaining person so i just <laughs> sure. i because like all right you 
most of the shit that you find is either going to be educational or entertainment and there's yeah. plenty of stuff that's right in the in the middle mm -hmm. i'm just trying to skew mine more on the education right. yeah. st side because there's plenty of enter entertainment there's plenty of like garbage that you could find on the internet yeah. like let me just stick to like the information and the the other thing is like think about any of these uh platforms at their beginning years it it like beginning as time goes on it always becomes more sophisticated mm -hmm. like oh, youtube yeah. when it started cat videos and like oh you know, yeah dumb vlogs and shit like instagram when it started it was just like bad food pictures <laughs> and like um Shitty vacation pet, photos. Pet, yeah, and shitty pet vacation. Photos. Yeah, pet, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Pet photos. Um, and now it's like all about like branding and like really beautiful, like depending on who you're following. But like right. a lot of the shit that I follow, I, I follow a, a lot of brands on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, and YouTube, I feel like is becoming more and more of like an educational environment. Depending yeah. on who you follow, there's certainly plenty of like entertainment on there, but I feel like the amount of people that are approaching it and trying to produce like educational stuff is, is definitely growing. I mean, and you can find almost anything on YouTube if you yeah. need to learn how to do something. Absolutely. Yeah. That's how I and learned. there's somebody on there. Yeah, absolutely. Know? That's how so I've, I've learned so much off of you. Like the only thing that I, that I know, like that I've had a like formal academic training on is cooking everything else that i do i've learned from youtube like wow. everything i mean pottery i took a class on that but <laughs> i've but i i would that was one like beginner's class i, I learned everything i <laughs> 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 was from youtube yeah yeah i mean a lot of stuff i mean even with the podcast i learned from like watching youtube videos yep. like how they yeah. set that up how they how are they doing it yeah and people are so willing to just give that information up it's awesome yeah. yeah so um when I took that class, it was, it was focusing on clarity and the purpose of that is like when you're just starting out, you have to like double down on like providing people with stuff. Sure. And if you have clarity in what you're doing, it, uh, I mean, it's endlessly good for you. Um, but one of the main reasons of why it's good is because then you know what you're offering and you know what people are looking for. And if you know what people are looking for, you can position yourself like right there. Like if you're looking for information on like a certain like audio thing or like podcasting thing, like you were talking about the issues that you were having with the camera. Like mm -hmm. there's somebody out there who's like, Ooh, I need to make a video on that so I could help this person. Oh, you know? absolutely. It's like, I, Oh, I went through this problem. Yeah. I know how to like fix it now. Let's put that out there. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> and it's exactly. great. I love that. Yeah. yeah. So that that's the idea now. Like, yeah, I, I want to do like weird, like vegetable, weird food things. <laughs> <laughs> but like right now it's like thinking about it like a pyramid. I, I need to form like the foundation and the foundation is like making videos on like the recipes that people are searching for now. Mm, and sure. There are a couple tools that I use for that. Um, and I just basically... I'm going through things vegetable by vegetable. So right now, yeah, I'm on, I'm, broccoli, right? Yeah, I'm on broccoli now. I'm going to do sweet potato next month, which I'm really excited oh, for. Oh, fuck yeah. Sweet potato yeah. pie, man. Sweet potato really? pie, yeah. Sick. Sweet potato pie, sweet potato casserole. Oh, nice. shit. Uh, and it's like, think about when, when you look, when you type some in, something in on Google, it gives you all the suggested things. Mm. So, dude, <laughs> I spent like weeks, like, like three, maybe even a month of like, five days a week eight hour days just looking up what people are looking for yeah like oh it's a great bro idea broccoli yeah. and i i had i have excel spreadsheets the the first that's why i drink coffee now <laughs> 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 the uh the first like two days of like when i finish the class i'm like all right i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna fucking research i'm gonna like learn what what people are looking for mm -hmm. i i made it my goal to make um like look up 1000 things and I made a list of 1000 food keywords that people are searching for, uh, on, on YouTube and Google, which by the way, YouTube and Google, it's like YouTube is owned by Google. So yeah, like, right. Yeah, it's, it's a giant engine search engine. Same, yeah. yeah. So, um, like, you know, broccoli, broccoli casserole, broccoli salad, grilled broccoli, roasted broccoli, 
sauteed steam like you you could take any vegetable look it up by the cooking method look it up by the the dish look it up by what mm. like what tool like you know broccoli in instant pot broccoli in air fryer you know like so there's just so so many and uh yeah that's that's basically where i'm at now that's cool that's yeah. a really cool approach yeah, yeah. it is a cool yeah. approach it's i like fun, how you're doing man. that it's fucking fun like yeah. the, the day <laughs> Those days when I was like looking up those a thousand keywords just to like kind of get get a lay of the land. I was drinking coffee. I was blasting music. I was just <laughs> fucking flying through this shit. Oh yeah, filling up that. And you know I like my spreadsheets. Oh yeah, <laughs> like filling wow. Up my spreadsheets. Yeah, yeah. I man. bet that was awesome. Oh, so good. Yeah, so fun. So yeah, I, I have like a giant list, very very giant list of like all the potential like videos so now i'm just like going through those and trying to make videos that's awesome yeah yeah and it's cool how you're starting with broccoli because i feel like that's like a vegetable i don't hear a lot of people being like about like yeah yeah stoked on it but like even like the broccoli cheddar soup you made the other day it was like damn that looks awesome it was good man oh good yeah (laughs) yeah it looks delicious that's really good yeah and it's cool because you start with like steaming broccoli and it's like oh yeah the basic shit so the basic and then you get more advanced and that's good for me too because like I st- I have stuff to learn with each of each of yeah. these oh, things. I'm sure. So like, yeah, yeah. I start with like the basic, like you know, most most basic videos I can. Mm-hmm. Like, I that's probably the order that I'm going to go on for each video. It's again like a pyramid. Basic shit at the bottom, you know, steamed, roasted, just the cooking method, no other ingredients, like yeah. just that. Um, and then go get more advanced as time goes on. Yeah, no, that's yeah. a great idea. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun doing it that way. So are you Wonder. only going to stick to vegetables? Yeah. yeah. Nice. I, my like idea is for like long term, this channel's how to cook vegetables. I mean, th- this could change over time, but just where I'm at right now and what I think would sound cool, um, how to cook vegetables. Um, at least this year, hopefully 104 videos, mm-hmm. um, probably like one vegetable a month. Uh, Um, based off of like the most popular recipes um event eventually i want to start building an email list um oh yeah and get a website and everything and my goal is to when i get like 20 to twenty five thousand people on the email list i want to like hopefully through the years this will provide me with enough like research and information to be able to write a book, a cookbook. Oh, wow. Um, oh, cool. And then when I have those 20 to 25,000, that means that I have people ready to like sell to. Yeah. You know? hmm. Yeah. So how to cook vegetables. That'll be the start. I think it would be cool to do how to ferment vegetables. Cause that's another. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm. Also, I didn't mention the reason why I landed on how to cook vegetables is because that's a search term that's searched like 5,400 times. I'm a, sure. A, a how month. to cook. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. It, it's not a website. There's never been a cooking show d- directly about vegetables. Really? There, yeah, there've been some about like vegetarian and vegan stuff and there's plenty of vegetarian vegan channels on YouTube, but right. I don't I don't think that there are many from people that have a culinary school background or people that have worked in restaurants. It's mostly like home cooked and home, home cooks sure. and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. So, I wanted huh. to like provide more of an academic approach to that's like cool. the information. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah, nice. So, it's, yeah, it's like you kind of stumbled on something there. Yeah, yeah. Dude, when it, dude, yeah. the day because <laughs> <laughs> that that class that I took, they have uh, they do they they have like a big like Facebook community and they have like they do like live events and stuff. Yeah, and they did one where um, they put it, it was like a big Zoom thing and they put everybody into their own little rooms where you like ever. You went in a circle and you say, hi, my name is so-and-so. My channel's called this, and this is what I do. And most of the people didn't know. And at the time, I was still doing, I was thinking Adrian Perez makes and just doing mm-hmm. like a pottery or whatever. And, or no, 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 no. I, I, had just, I had landed on vegetables. And when I said my channel's called Adrian Perez makes, it didn't feel right. Mm. And then later, after that like live thing was done, I like typed in howtocookvegetables.com. And I realized that it didn't exist, and I was just yeah, like, hey, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was fucking struck gold. St- yeah, yeah, dude, that's, yeah, yeah, for real. It, because that's like the most, like you know what you're getting out of that. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's very direct. Yeah. Simple, and yeah. it, there's no question like what's yeah yeah what you get yourself into when you go yeah. to something like that. Exactly. Yeah, no, that's great. Exactly. And that that had been it seems like almost impossible nowadays because yeah, the internet is so fucking big and there's yep. so many people on it. 
and everybody's just grabbing up everything. You know? Yeah, I was <laughs> incredible. I felt so lucky. I took Max said the exact same thing. He was like, "Yeah, I'm surprised. I thought that all the obvious website names were taken already." Yeah, yeah, like, that's what I would always assume. Like, yeah. if if not actually being ran, it's just owned by somebody waiting for somebody else to be like, "Oh, I'll buy it for me," and then they yeah. fucking price gouge you on it. But yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. wild. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just I'm just running with it. I want to do that cookbook. Um, how to cook vegetables eventually when I understand it better and I, I understand the science a little bit more, how to ferment vegetables would be cool. Would you start a separate channel for that? Yeah. Yeah. I, th- Hell I, th- yeah. I think so. Um, if I, I think it would be cool to do one called how to eat vegetables. And that one's more of like, like a show show uh-huh. where it's more about like going to like restaurants and seeing how like other people are treating different That's vegetables cool. and shit. Yeah. More of like a collaborative thing as opposed to like, this is how you do this. Uh-huh. Um, but that's just so, f- that, I mean, again, this is all like idea shit all right now. Steps I'm ahead. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to focus on like my casserole and stuff like that. Right <laughs> Hell yeah. That's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah. 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 It looks really good. Thank it just you. looks and Thank everything you. about it is like pristine. Like Thank you're you. always like sending them to us looking for criticisms and I'm like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah. Like the it looks good. Yeah. Very top. Notch. Yeah. Like, it you. looks so Thank good. You, man. I'm trying. It's, it's hard to get that with the gear that I have, but I'm, <clears> I'm happy that like I'm able to make this like doable right hell now. yeah yeah I, 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 you do I, such a great job with all that stuff though like you. even with the music videos and whatnot like yeah. it's just funny like if nobody knew like if they just saw the stuff you do they're like oh this guy has probably just got all this crazy shit just doing this this, <laughs> and that and then if you saw the behind the scenes you're like oh my god oh these guys are fucking <laughs> like, like yeah foam board it. yeah and, it's just yeah. the most random shit like we're in this yeah. dingy dungeon you know like yeah, just man. dust everywhere there's crap on the ground we gotta move this real quick <laughs> yeah this shot now we gotta yep. turn everything and foam board and oh duct my god tape. yeah 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 <laughs> the amount of duct tape and yeah oh, so much duct tape <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You're very, you're good with that. Like, it's awesome. I think that in itself is a skill set that not a lot of people have. It's like a very MacGyver gene almost, you know, (laughs) where you got to just be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people can't. They can't figure that stuff out. Yeah. It's problem solving. It's hard, but got to do it. Yeah. So next is sweet potatoes. Yeah. Next next is sweet potatoes. Yeah. (laughs) That's going to be fun. I'm a little nervous about the pie because I got to, I got to like get my crust right. But, that one's going to be good. I got the filling, right? The filling that I make is fucking awesome. Hell yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah I'm going to do a casserole. I'm going to make the, make marshmallows from scratch. Wow. Yeah. That's going to be, that's going to be sick. Yeah. Marshmallows. It's, it's basically a meringue that has gelatin in it. That's oh. why, that's why they're squishy. If it gotcha. didn't have gel, gelatin in it, it would just be like meringue. Like you find on a, yeah. on a pie meringue stuff. pie. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. That's awesome. Are I you going to do, I think cause I was inspired by it. I was watching other cooking videos. Yeah. Because I've been on like a real kick of uh, Dean Lamb from mm-hmm. Arc Spot. Oh, yeah. yeah. You've been watching this shit? Claire, like, yeah. do stuff. Yes, and cool she videos. did uh, a segment of cooking videos with a oh, friend cool. of hers. And, like, they are they don't look nearly as good as yours, but they're oh. they're fun, you know? And, yeah. like, it's it's clearly something she d- did as, like, a side thought kind of, like, thing. Yeah. And, uh, but she did a meringue pie and, oh, like, nice. ruined it. It was hysterical. What? She Rude fucked it up so hard. Oh, yeah. no. Because <laughs> she got too baked to like literally ba- like high to like do it. <laughs> oh. And then like oh, fucked it up so bad. Because like it's during the pandemic. So she couldn't be with her friend. Oh, and yeah. And they're like doing it over a Skype lesson. Weird. It's it's pretty funny. But uh, <laughs> yeah. it's clearly not like this is what this channel is all about. It was just something they did. Yeah. For just fun. for fun. Just a little yeah. sad thing. Yeah. Yeah. Very sick. That's cool. Yeah. I want to make a lemon meringue pie. That's my favorite pie, man. Really? Yeah, lemon I meringue? It. I, I like lemon meringue. Oh, so good. I like so key good. lime pie, though. I think yeah, that might be lime, my favorite. Key lime is great. Yeah. Key lime is delicious. Yeah. Oh, so good. I like pie. <laughs> yeah. 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 Man, pie is great. That's I like so it. I'm a, I'm a pie man for sure. More than cake. Oh, hell yeah. 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 Way yeah. more pie, than cake. Pie is just such a more. Um, dynamic experience <laughs> that's <laughs> it is i like cheesecake a lot highs and yeah, lows is <laughs> there fucking is highs and lows there's different te- i mean not to say that you can't get different textures with cake but cake can just um what's the word um it can just be a lot of mush you know yeah Cake can be a lot of mush pie mm-hmm. you get the crust you get some crunch you do fucking uh you know uh custard filling so it's like <laughs> yeah it's, it's unctuous <laughs> unctuous hell yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah man yeah, yeah it's it's quite an adventurous food yeah, you know uh, all kinds of f- terrains and yeah, yeah, yeah the terrains, <laughs> flavors yeah. yeah yeah you get terrains i wonder has nate talked to you all about your channel no he's, but he's been I, doing a lot of cooking lately I, I i want 
I haven't. All right. I talked with Jason about this on the way here. I didn't. I haven't talked to Nate in a minute, and I want to. Well, he, when I when I posted, it, he said, "Man, like, hey, this is cool, great job, or something." Oh, good. Like so that. he has seen it. Yeah, but like, he's like one of the people that I was that I was thinking of when I made this channel because, like, we talked here and there over over last summer, and we would talk a lot about cooking, and I was it was really cool because like, he seemed in our phone conversations, he seemed the most at ease and happy when like talking about cooking like Mm. trying to figure stuff out and you know like he's trying to learn how to cook better because he's cooking for himself and his dad through the through the pandemic and uh i i don't remember he just said something one time when he called and it just like i was just so happy to like be sharing information with him about like cooking stuff Mm. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. He was definitely like a big reason why I made the channel. Like, oh, cool. like that, like that type of person, you know, who like, no, why, I who remember, wants I to he, learn like, more reached out to you prior to the, you know, the YouTube channel about yeah. helping him with cooking and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, well, yeah shit, you couldn't man. ask for a better person to teach you how to cook. So. Yeah. I'm so, <laughs> I was so happy. I was so happy to like give him, he, he was making, we had a day when we made salsa verde and beans. Okay. Yeah. Is great. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I'm sure he's got to be on your channel. Yeah. yeah. Watching yeah. It all. He better time. be. Yeah, Nate. <laughs> yeah. Love, love you, Nate. <laughs> Very fucking sick. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I slept on the couch yesterday for like an hour and a half <laughs> on accident. And like my back is and neck are like so stiff. Brutal. Comfy couch, though. Yeah. Yeah. Just not the after part of it. <laughs> yeah. But it's sick. Anyway, yeah, man, like, I've always, like, the gusto that you have is really good, too, with your YouTube Gu- channel. Gusto? Yeah, like, <laughs> watching you talk, it's, like, very confident, and, like, oh, it's oh, good. It's just thanks, sick man. that, like, I, I'm i so prefer your approach, because it's, like, you're not cracking stupid jokes, like, yeah. meme jokes. You're not, yeah, like, no. you know, you're just, like, you'll sneak a couple funnies in there, and it's, yeah. like, ooh, I heard that, you yeah, know? but the education's first, man. Yeah, that which is fresh. sick, and it's just, yeah. like, oh, cool, I'm just, like listening to this and learning instead of just like i have to like because like there's a lot of videos i watch on youtube where like i like watching professionals do shit but sometimes like they inject too much of their own shit in it where it's just kind of like i don't even know like i want to know something and you're just like making jokes like stop can i like find this out first and then like say what you gotta say and it's just like very like i get it you know like especially i mean i would say that mostly for like the video game guys i've watched or Mm. i've seen where it's just like so many jokes on jokes on jokes and sometimes it's funny like if you're watching it for entertainment purposes yeah right. i could get that you know but like some channels i want to learn about stuff and it's just like maybe i'm not watching the right videos for that then but uh yeah yeah it's just interesting to hear that whole take on it because it's like i hear of i don't know it's like there's people out there that watch like youtube more than tvs Dude, you know tv shows for sure yeah. i definitely watch youtube way more. i don't like rem- I don't know the last like new TV show that I've watched. <laughs> you watched? I've yeah, definitely not. I've de- I've watched like, plenty of material on YouTube. That's for sure. Yeah, there's so much. There's so much. I just get a little annoyed with like some of the suggestions that I get. Oh, like, really? Some repeat more than others. I'm like, yeah. all right, I didn't click on it the first twenty times. Yeah, Can we just move along? If you you could, there's an option. Not where you interested. Can, yeah, 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 I've yeah, been yeah, doing yeah. that more and more now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. yeah. What's annoying? Yeah. Like one thing that I have a big pet peeve on, like youtube are the reaction videos yeah. they're so fucking popular yeah, yeah. and yeah. i don't understand get it. that yeah. yeah and i'm like i'm good i don't mm. want to see any of these and then what popped in the other day was a reaction video to their reaction video and mm. i was like oh what? we're circling yeah. back on yeah, these? yeah. fucking this nuke these people like what yeah. are we doing like i'm <laughs> out man like yeah well people ugh. like people like commentary and shit you yeah know? right like, yeah people I mean, that's, have that's, like reaction channels yeah like I mean, just channels know, this on whole that. channel based on reactions yeah. that's what your mom's house is like most of the time yeah, i mean all the way. videos they watch it's basically like it's a reaction true, show yeah. you know but there's yeah. a lot more commentary that goes along with it because they're both yeah definitely. Mediums, the, the, and that's know. why it's good man that's why it's good. yeah they're I, good I like at that yeah mm-hmm. and they have yeah. guests on to react as well which is yeah, cool I mean, and like yeah. there's lots of different aspects yeah. to it it's not just like Tom and Christina react to this video. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Here's here's a drummer reacting to the like jazz yeah. drummer reacts to death metal drum. Like, I don't care. Yeah, I see those you know? all it, the time. Or it's, it's like here's like, these two black dudes reacting to metal. It's like, wh- why are we doing this? Like yeah. come on. It's yeah. just yeah. like I think that 
I don't know. Let me see if I can get this thought out right. I feel like that's like geared towards people who want to understand how other people think and yeah. like oh, don't and can't like think hard enough of- to to like develop their own opinion about something so they want to hear other people's opinions. Right. <laughs> I guess that I might be know. like a, a harsh way to say it, but like, no, but that's, like that's there's definitely, definitely, definitely some reality to that, yeah. you know. Like, I wonder if you know, because like, oh, fuck, I just had a point, I just lost it. God damn it, I hate that. <laughs> it was something along the lines of like, I know people, well, it'll come back to me. Shit, about reaction videos or what. Yeah, it was about sort of. It was in that vein, that lane of reaction videos. It's just kind of like you know. Ah, fuck! That'll come back. So close. It'll come That's back. Okay. Yeah, shit. My bad. It was good though. That's okay. Um, you also reminded me that so Dean Lamb also started a cooking thing with the fucking singer from Mark Spire. Oh, cool. I yeah. saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and like that was one where it's like this guy, this dude's trying really hard to be really funny. Yeah, and, I didn't watch and after that. After a minute, you're like, all right, I get it. You're a funny guy, but yeah, can enough. I just see how you make this fucking hollandaise sauce? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> And like after a minute, like I was like, okay, this is kind of funny. And then it was back to like, all right, I I don't care again. Like, yeah, like what is this? And you're right, it's it's a lot of people. I think a lot of people are straight in the line because yeah, like you said, YouTube is either educational or entertaining, yeah. and he's clearly trying to go right up the middle. Yeah, which makes which sense does, if you want to cover great. the most amount of ground. Yep, you know, yeah. but because I mean, uh, like think about it. If you the things that will get the most, like attention are the things that provide the most value and you can provide a lot of value with entertain something is very entertaining yeah. it's like a lot of value something's very educational but if it's like too educational it could be boring if it's oh, too yeah. entertaining if it's, it's super like, clinical then yeah you're like uh you yeah start that, that's a over. that's a very not not that people won't watch it but like that's just like this much of an audience whereas if you start right. to add entertainment to it it starts to widen the audience whereas if you're just entertainment you know like i don't watch that many like pure enter i mean besides like your mom's house and like a couple podcasts sure. i don't watch like like comedy channels like people doing skits and stuff i don't yeah. really watch that i mean, I mean, I'm away from those over the years yeah uh, it's just not for me you know but like I, those well, are big for a while and i miss those a little bit like yeah. i was just watching uh i guess from another balloon shop hmm. there was a comedy group and they were pretty funny i didn't realize like they stopped doing videos back in 2015, I think, is when they did their last video. Oh, wow. It, it was, it's uh, three guys that were doing it, and they like, essentially all just broke off from each other. And one guy, like, still has a YouTube channel, but it's mm-hmm. all, like, just him talking about life. I don't know. I tried watching, like, a video. Like I was a, like, I don't know if this is, like, satirical funny. Yeah. or if, like. Like a vlog sort of deal? Yeah, yeah. It was really weird. I just was like, I don't. But there's also like bits that he has in there as well. But I don't know. All all together it was just a weird channel. And then the other guy uh, still has a YouTube channel, but it was like too like what's the word for it? Like it was just like oh, this is supposed to be funny, but it's like above this level of like blatant funny, you know? Where it's mm-hmm. just like oh, I, it's not for me. Yeah, sure. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, moving along. And then yeah. the other guy just like dropped off and. Really hasn't done anything. Yeah. That was like, um, that million, million dollar extreme was a YouTube first, I think, which is Sam Hyde and those guys. Um, they ended up getting a show on adult swim, which ended up getting canceled. But like they started on, I think they started on YouTube. I used to like that shit. Um, I I still like some of that stuff, but like, I don't think not all of those dudes do it. I don't know. I don't, but it's like, that's one of those entertainment channels where I remember where it was like, whoa, like goofy shit. But, um, Biggest one is probably Derek Comedy, just because like those dudes oh, actually went yeah, on to be in comedy TV yeah. and Saturday Night Live. Oh, really? Stuff. Yeah, I well, don't remember that. It's, oh, uh, is that Childish Gambino? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Or yeah, there's like Goldberg. that dude. Remember Kyle? Mm-hmm. He's yeah, on fucking man. Saturday Night Live, and yep. he used to be on that YouTube shit. I yep. used to think that was funny. Yeah. He, yeah. I'm so sorry. Can I pass real quick? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm like dying right now. Yeah, do it. Okay, I'll be I'll be quick. No, take your time. Take your shit. <laughs> read a book do whatever you got something do. smells good you smell that been smelling all kinds of cooking today here dave's probably cooking something good unless i'm just having a stroke i don't know i'm i can't really, i'm all like congested right now because i've been cutting a bunch of metal and wood and sucks sick <laughs> but it's like i've been sneezing like nonstop from all that now. yeah my nose is like blown out 
Uh, it sucks. <laughs> well, shit. It's one of the great YouTube stuff that you've been watching. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, I watched the guy beat Final Fantasy 7 in two hours. The remake or the OG? <laughs> the OG. Oh, wow. Yeah. Two hours? <laughs> How the fuck do you do that? Dude, he only, it only took um, two hours and change, or not two hours. That's like, like all hour. the cutscene time. It was like an hour and like maybe 30 minutes of Midgar. And he was like out and then 30 minutes of boom, done. How? How do you do I that? Even, I fucking blinked and it was like over. Yeah. Jesus like Christ. I had to rewind it and then I I got sidetracked and I was like, fuck it. Is he skipping already. dialogue and shit? Oh, he's, it's all about like skipping stuff like that is for uh, games on quick. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the whole point of it. But uh, yeah, I just remember like. Oh, he's about to leave Midgar. Sick. And then, like, my phone dinged. I was like, oh, I'm gonna check this thing. He's like, and now we're gonna take out Sephiroth. I was like, wait, what? I was like, what the he's fuck? He's already at the last it? boss. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's like, nuts. Rewound it, and then got sidetracked again by one of my cats. Wow. And I was like, all right. And he's like, all right, well, now we're just gonna kill Sephiroth. I was like, God damn it. I was like, yeah. that's it. I'm out. Yeah, I'm not I watching. Never, it again. I never understood the satisfaction <laughs> with like speed running shit. You guys talking about video games? Again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, we were talking cool. about like. <laughs> We're talking yeah. about YouTube, and he was talking about the one of the things I watch. What's that channel? Mm. Uh, games done quick. Okay, so it's like speed this running shit. Cool. Yeah. Those are fucking crazy, man. Yeah, Dude, the strategies fucking that they crazy. use on that shit, oh and like God. how they break these fucking games. Like, it's like learning how to speed read or some shit. You know what I mean? It's basically <laughs> oh, no, like I that. Smell it. Yeah. Do you smell that cooking? Yeah, this one good. Yeah, smell some um, cooking. Yeah, I'm hungry. Smell some cooking. Smell some cooking. How funny would it be if you could hear yourself being played up there, like they're like watching one of your videos? <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be fun. Awesome. Or make the cheddar soup. Yeah. But yeah, I, I never understood like what satisfaction you get out of beating a game super fast. And imagine how many times you got to play that game to know how to do oh, I mean, that. Yeah. You know what I mean? All these guys do. Yeah, yeah. That's like crazy. all of them only have like at most. I think it's like four or five games under their belt that are all meant to be sped run. Okay, yeah, that makes crazy. sense. And then you have to like try out to get onto that show. Or not really try out so much as like you just show like your best times or whatever. Yeah. And then they go from there and they pick Do they one hundred percent these games? No, not all. Oh, okay. The time. It depends. They're all different. Like sometimes they do a hundred percent, like which wow. is crazy. Then that takes a long time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But with games done quick, yeah, it's literally meant for the fastest you can do it. I That's mean it's nuts. fun. It's fun to watch people yeah. just like play like especially if it's a game you played and you spent yeah. like hours on yeah. it. Yeah. And then you're like Oh, let's see this guy crush it. And yeah. I was like, God damn <laughs> yeah. it. Like, yeah. what he, the fuck? He, does, he like jumps at like a weird spot that you didn't even think. Right. And just like goes yeah. through something. And then yeah. he's like <laughs> at the, like the, I remember one of the crazier ones was like the original Diablo. I think the guy yeah. made in like 30 minutes or something like that. Oh, yeah. wow. It, it was like crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's so crazy how they do that. That is fucking crazy. But it's a lot. Of, I also enjoy it because like, I think it's twice a year they hold these, uh, the game's done quick, like marathons that they do, and it's all for charity. And oh, they always cool. have a block of like really bad video games, mm-hmm. and those are like the best, like because they're yeah. just so horrible. I just <laughs> watching somebody play it and try to be as fast as possible. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> that is funny. That's sick. Hell yeah. Well, shit, guys. I am so fucking tired right now. I am sorry. I'm good. I wish I was more awake. Fuck. And I should have got a coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Can I say real quick? Yeah. In regards, you mentioned my my gusto earlier. <laughs> my gusto. Oh yeah, your gusto. Your gusto. I, I appreciate you saying that because, like, not that doing the video is like public speaking, but just like in a way, do, yeah, just like that skill. It's never been in my skill set, and I see the way that like you guys communicate, and like every, everybody in the band, like. It's not that's you guys have like a, a gene that I definitely don't have <laughs> in being able to gene. Yeah. Yeah. And be able, I don't know. I think, able, you sold, I think you sell yourself a little short though. Cause I've had plenty so? of great conversations with you. Yeah. Um, like, I don't know. I've never seen. Well, maybe, I guess maybe more so in like a public setting. I guess. I mean, I, even I'm terrible with that stuff. Like I don't like to do it. Oh um, yeah. I've gotten better. I, it wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have guessed. Oh, I, cause I, mean, I, yeah. I definitely think when I think of like both of you, I think like, Oh, like I could bring them and they'll like have, they'll be able to jive with mm-hmm. somebody, you know, and you guys will oh. just be able to like have a conversation. Yeah. You know? I, I don't know if that's necessarily like, for me, it's more like, uh, I just, I, I just listen to a lot of people Yeah, and like, I just, I don't talk a lot when I meet new people. It's yeah. usually I let them do yeah. all the talking, which can be a problem if somebody else is like me and then it's just like awkward silence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like, that yeah, happens. Man. You got to catch me at a good time though. Like, you know, if I'm feeling talkative, which isn't all that often in a public setting, 
then it's over. But if I'm if I'm in the mood to be like, so what's going on? You know, like yeah, yeah. it works out, but it's few and far between a lot of the times. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I like talking all the time. I know, I know, I know. and that's why. I, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why I appreciate you saying that because, like, that's not in my like natural skill set, and it's something that I want to get better at. And that's kind of part partially why I decided to like do the camera stuff as sure. opposed to just doing like food shots, mm-hmm. yeah, and like voiceover. voiceover. Yeah. Well, the fir- one um, of the first thoughts I had when I saw your first video was like, "Wow, I've never seen Adrian talk like this before." Ah, cool. Like <laughs> it was so different because yeah. it's just like I'm used to you taking time explaining shit and being yeah. like, <sighs> like yeah. doing that all the time. Yeah. I'm just like, "Wow, Adrian is so fucking yeah, concise." Like it's, yeah. it was a it was just crazy seeing yeah. you like that. I was like, "Wow, this I need, is like I need an editor way next different. to me all the time, just like cut out all <laughs> right. the yeah. skip out." The <laughs> and, uh, no. Yeah, because that because that you know that video is like three. You know, it's like two and a half minutes long, but like yeah. that mm. talking that was like forty minutes. Oh, of I'm like sure. trying to get those trying lines. To get it down. Right. Yeah. yeah, I said that the first line. I don't even remember what the fuck I said for like the first like eight <laughs> seconds before the little intro thing. Sure, that part is always the hardest for me. Right. It takes yeah. me like three hundred times of saying. Wow, like, it's definitely like a warm up for yeah. sure. Yeah, definitely. But I'm I'm trying to get better at at it and uh, reading some books and shit. You know, nice. I can give you some tips. Yeah. I got an. Yeah, I got the tips? highest grade on my fucking. Uh, public speaking course at Triton really? College. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's I had awesome. the highest grade in that year? class. Cool. You're there. Um, some older woman that was an asshole. Oh, I always really? forget her name. You gotta yeah. do a TED talk on death metal, man. Yeah, I will yeah. do a TED, TED, TED talk on death metal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like awesome. this. I hate this. <laughs> with, the, with like a slideshow. Yeah. And this sucks. Like, like Dude, wrong. this shit's yeah. sick. This man. is sick. Same this here. is bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Raise your hands if anybody listens to this shit. Yeah. yeah. All right, get out. Yeah. <laughs> Walk out. There's the door. <laughs> that would yeah, be fun. I, uh, yeah. I took a public speaking class in high school. I fucking hated it. But I also didn't like high school. Yeah. I didn't have a lot of friends there and like sure. yeah. it was always the thing of like, oh, if you want to volunteer to go first, now's the time to do it. I'd be like, I am not doing that. Like, oh, I, I would always go. volunteer yeah, to go see, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. just because cool. I want to get it over with. Right. Yeah. For me, it was that dread of like, I just I'll wait until it I utterly have to. Yeah. And oh. uh but then after high school, when I got to college, I went to Triton, I had to take a public speaking class. At that point, I'd already had hundreds of shows under my belt. Mm-hmm. I've met people from all over the fucking place and so going into it then i'm like i don't give a fuck yeah. about like all these people are just, yeah. just like me if, yeah if we were out at a bar right now we'd probably be just cutting it up yeah having a good fucking time like it doesn't matter cutting so it at that i'd be like fuck it i'll go first because then i was like i just want to get it over with yeah. and just yeah. kick it and watch these fucking people do their thing yeah you know? like and it was fun like there was one other guy that was an amazing public speaker and really i was like what are you doing here yeah. like yeah you should be somewhere now yeah. <laughs> i don't know i wonder where that guy is now but he was such a great speaker and then everybody else was like you know mediocre and like but sure. that's to be expected mm. and then there was a handful that were just like god awful but <laughs> yeah what are you gonna do it's not yeah. it's not for everybody yeah, but everybody's at different levels i think my favorite <laughs> i feel bad because <laughs> it, it sucks public speaking sucks which it, I think even people that are confident and probably don't even like doing it sometimes yeah. too. But one of my favorites, at least at the Triton one, you know, the how to speech, which is, yeah. Fun. Um, what did you do? How to change a guitar string. That's sick. I did yeah. how to set up a drum kit. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Did you bring like most of your kid in? Uh, no, I didn't have to bring in anything, but I, uh, I had to put a slideshow together for it. You Cause pictures. you have to have a visual aid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one girl did how to tie a tie. Mm-hmm. She Fucked it up. <laughs> uh, fu- fucked up the tie. Yeah, it was oh. like the the little part was so fucking long. <laughs> oh, Dude. I was like, ah, whatever. And the teacher, yeah. the guy, the guy we have, super fucking cool. Like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah I, I feel bad. I can't remember his name. His younger brother was in a band with my old dr- like drummer's like friend or some shit. Oh, so weird. random. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I ended up getting drunk with that fucking speech teacher like years later down the road at like, nice. like, Ely's once. I was like, what are you doing here? He's like. Oh, he's like, oh, lift up. I was like, oh, crazy. And yeah. Was drink the whole night. <laughs> Sick. I was like, wow. I was like, you should have let me drink. I was in class. I was like, I'd be able to speak even easier than before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that was like a 10 a.m. Yeah. I like that, though. It was fun doing that because it was like my speeches would always be structured out like an essay, like mm-hmm. intro, outro, then all the points within it. And yeah, like, I used yeah. to love like structuring it all out and like formatting it. Like, 
I always thought that was fun to do. And yeah. like, it felt good to like nail it on the head where you're like, yeah, yeah. like, yeah. I mean, it, it's just, I don't know. I've always liked doing public speaking shit. It's always easy. Yeah. It's easy yeah. though. A very rare breed. I feel. Yeah. I feel like most people. Don't. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, there's nothing. It's like, I always try to view it like, cause like, I always think of it in two lenses where it's like one, I sometimes I'll get scared because people are like, Oh, who's this cocksucker? That's like up here thinking he could talk and doing that shit. But then at the same time, I always try to think to myself, I'm like, well, you're not doing it. You know, yeah. like I'm at least, I at least have the fucking balls to be up here to like speak, you know, yeah. let's and, call it imposter syndrome. Yes. Yeah. Imposter syndrome. Yeah. yeah. What is that now? It's like when, when you have this thought of like people will come to find out that you're like full of shit. Yeah. You know, like, okay. Like when you have the thought of people looking at you and thinking, who the fuck does he think he is? Yeah. Sort of shit. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. 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 A very like, unhealthy thought. Every yeah. day of my life. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> same, same, man. Same. But uh, yeah. I never had a big hump yeah. when I was like starting the videos was like that. Of, yeah. Like, oh, man. All these people who I like used to know pre-pandemic <laughs> yeah i'm gonna look at these and be like who the fuck does this guy think he, is? he doesn't know anything <laughs> why is he about telling me about vegetables what the fuck yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's hard but i mean if it's like if you're confident enough about a subject at least for me it's like if i'm confident enough that i could like knock it out of the park i usually don't try yeah. to think that way mm -hmm. or it's easier for me to not think that way totally. but it's definitely like that would be that's always been my biggest fear with public speaking is the imposter syndrome shit yeah. not like being embarrassed or anything well i guess that comes from embarrassment with that like yeah, being like what does this guy think he's fucking doing but then it's just like i don't know i watch videos i watch i catch myself doing that shit sometimes and i'm like why am i doing this like oh about the yeah where i'm just kind of like what the fuck does this person know and yeah. i'm like why am i doing that like a lot of those <laughs> you're talking about like jazz drummer reacts to like mashuga drums and right. it's just like i watch that and i'm just like metal. well i mean he but it's just like oh i'm watching another like guy like jazz guy like talk about how it's oh it's loud or like oh <laughs> like oh he's just doing triplets on his feet or something like that i'm like yeah i don't he's care about this hard <laughs> yeah he's playing hard wow or like any jazz guy watching any death metal drum video then being like wow i don't know why they have to play that fast it's like come on man <laughs> it's the type of music jazz too. yeah that's the thing come on now it's like that's the type of music and he's like oh what is this like a sport and it's like no dude <laughs> stop like they, they, oh yeah no, it's a competition. Yeah. Huh? That's not really imposter yeah. syndrome, though, but it's more of just me being like annoyed by that, where it's like, all right, yeah. I don't really need to hear what this guy, I don't need to hear a dude validate a band I like, yeah. right. you know, in yeah. another line. But I mean, maybe some people like that shit and they think it's really cool. Yeah. I guess, I mean, it's popular, so. I feel like what there's a lot know? of content in the metal community that I don't like, though. Like, yeah. I, I find. You don't like the jokey stuff. I hate the yeah, jokey like shit. The hate jokey the sat stuff. satirical some shit. I, some of it I like, yeah. but. It, I, it'll become more sophisticated with time i think yeah i think some some somebody not i mean i'm not gonna say because like i don't really like follow that much like metal content sure. on youtube or anything in general so maybe i'm not the best person to speak on it but i feel like there will be some day soon where somebody comes out with something that's like actually valuable yeah like, informative like i like the helpful. banger tv shit yeah banger tv is cool that's yeah, like, I like exactly. the only I, one i'll watch i like that they get in like the history of shit mm -hmm. like that i think that's really cool banger tv is that dude who did that uh metal a headbanger's journey movie that was like a documentary on metal and stuff like that and then he created his own youtube channel yeah. and they do tons of different reviews interviews like they do all kinds of they do like reality shows on there now they do like like competition shows. They do a lot of stuff on there, hmm. but it's like it's done well, and the guys are well informed, and like it's never too like. I mean, it's like it's hard because we're all three metal dudes that have grown up with metal people, right. and like we know that shit like the back of our hands. But it's just like like I could tell when a guy's probably like talking about a band he doesn't like or like something he doesn't want to admit he likes. Yeah. But they do a good job over there of at least like biting the bullet and just talking about it on an in an honest perspective. Yeah. Which I think is really cool and respectable. And it just looks good. Yeah. Quality it is does great. Look good. Yeah, like I Nate like was it. on there. They interviewed Immortal Bird, Nate and Ray mm -hmm. on uh, an episode of Banger oh, TV. I very, think I saw some of that. Yeah. yeah. And our our friend Bradley Zord Dragger <laughs> um writes for them and does videos for them as well yeah cool yeah this shit is cool mm -hmm. i do like theirs yeah it's 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 really well done but that's like i don't know that you go on another metal guy's channel and he's just talking shit about everything he doesn't like and trying to justify <laughs> like one band and it's like oh yeah. 
I like, I don't think I watch any metal content anymore. Like even on my YouTube recommended videos, there's like nothing that's like remotely really resembling much metal anymore. It's all like video game cooking or like podcasts, a lot of podcasting shit. Yeah. I get a lot of podcast. Shit. Yeah. Or yeah. like music interviews, but not like metal shit. Yeah. Like hip hop and stuff like that. Mm. I'll get like mostly like anything that's related to like the, your mom's house community yeah. or the Joe Rogan community. Uh-huh. I'll get that. I'll get a lot of Jordan Peterson shit. I'll get a lot of like cooking stuff. Yeah. Definitely. I think that's like pretty much the majority of my YouTube yeah YouTube experience it's nice though because it's just like yeah. oh I like this stuff now and it's like easier to watch as opposed to like me being like oh here's another video from Metal Sucks that I never really cared about watching or Metal Injection or something like that not to talk shit on it but just like I don't know I feel like it's hard and then it's just like a, a lot of like content is like playthrough videos and yeah. shit like that and it's that stuff never I mean at least I understand that it gets a lot of other people excited but like I never get excited by that shit. It's just yeah. like, I would rather go to a show and watch a band play this live than see some dude play drums in a small room, you know, yeah, uh, and like I nail it. enjoy the drum playthrough videos, yeah. but I think it's cause I'm not a drummer. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, but would you ever watch a fucking guy play guitar? No, I, I think it, it, I think it all depends, man. Cause they're like m- most like nine times out of 10, I won't click a playthrough playthrough video. But if it's like a really cool song that I like actually want to see how yeah, it's played, no right. matter the instrument, besides like metal, I probably cool. wouldn't, if there's like metal vocal playthrough, I don't like care about that. I, yeah. I don't like, know if I've ever yeah. done one of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if it's like, a, just yelling at like me, yeah. some guitar playthrough or if somebody's like really hyping up, like this guy shreds or some shit like that, I, I might, I might click it. I might click but it's like it has to be really really good though it has like if to it's be just a some sick ass song yeah, yeah if it's just some guitar. run run yeah. of the mill shit like i don't really care like, watch when you play these new metal riffs like yeah, i've like, did that when i was a kid cool. i don't or, know yeah. or, metal, or metal core riffs like yeah this uh, breakdown <laughs> like, I'm yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah no thanks i'd rather yeah i would i would much rather see somebody rip like an insane solo yeah from a song that i really like that yeah and this really rhythm. also depends on the person like really depends on the person too but like some people are just really fun to watch play yeah like oh, yeah. just watch like it, especially with drummers like the drummer from ulcer i love watching him play oh yeah he just oh, like yeah. That's the his, po- his posture is so good and he just like he's yeah. just like straightforward the, and the, the whole sound time. is always really fucking yeah. good too. yeah, yeah, yeah that's man. The other his, thing. his his videos are really really fun yeah. to watch those are fun. The, but see i don't even know if i would call those playthrough videos essentially because most of them are like studio footage yeah kind or, of, or live you know, yeah or live, or live but, shit and i love that yeah yeah the live ones are fun yeah that's one thing i wish sounds good I wish there were better live videos of bands. I mean, there's tons of them on YouTube, but like, there's so many bad ones. Yeah. I mean, it sucks to like sift through all that. It, it's not like with other genres where you can just record and it sounds pretty decent. Like metal, you have to like get a good recording of Otherwise oh, yeah. it sounds mm-hmm. all crunchy. Otherwise, and it's, it needs to be mixed right yeah. and all that. Yeah. That's the challenge. But it's like, man. there's so many, I, another pet peeve of mine are the ones that's like high quality video of such and such band live. <laughs> and it's somebody's fucking cell phone. Yeah. And, you know, and it's like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, that sounds wonderful. C- clipping. The I can't wait to watch time. this for, and it's like a 30 minute video. It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nope. you're yeah. the asshole that held his arm up there for 30 minutes. Like, God yeah. damn it. You're, I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I got to get that booth recording. It sucks. It's like yeah, the videos of the, uh, direct from the board, that last necrophages song, the new one they were playing on that last tour they did in right, 2009. He's, phone he's like, Shake and bake. Yeah. That one. <laughs> yeah, that one. And it just sounds like yeah. as soon as they yeah. start playing. But I still watch this shit. I yeah, still me too. Because it. it's this hand, dude. Yeah. That's a dude that's fun to watch play because oh, his absolutely. hand is fucking huge, yeah. man. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that and it was just nice to hear new necrophages so it was yeah. like yeah I, I don't care how bad it sounds i want to hear this i saw them play that song live at that show did you really yeah that's awesome yeah i'm glad i got to see them before uh they passed onward Aww. i saw them live. <laughs> 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 passed onward yeah oh <laughs> to the great beyond yeah, yeah. The great beyond man yeah rest I, in peace when they the w- all right i i probably i don't i don't think i've told this on a podcast before but like the the last summer slaughter that they did what year was that 2009 i went to that i didn't know who they were and i left before they played oh bummer yeah. really yeah. was it that one because i remember yeah. i went to you in 2010 where they did they headline or that was decapitated that, that headlined okay whichever one that they like co-headlined that was 2009 okay it yeah. was that one then yeah i left and who was I the remember, co-headliner 
Um, it was like it was them, and it was supposed to be them in Suffocation, but Suffocation wasn't on the Chicago date. So it was they were headlining, but Ensafirum was on right before them, which was really weird. They're like a folk yeah. metal band. Yeah. So it didn't really make a lot of sense. Yeah, I, I forever regret that. I would have loved to watch them play live. That's like, I don't know. There's just some bands where I'm like, I, I, I want to see that live like now. Oh, yeah. I think of Necrophages, I'm just like, dude, I want to, because like, the tightness, I want to see some tightness. Yeah. Give me some I tightness, see the tightness yeah. Yeah. And they're tight. Yeah. Yeah. Give me that toit. I'm trying to think. I saw him at Logan Square Auditorium. Yeah, yeah, that's so sick with Arsis and shit. Yes, yeah, it's awesome. That was like one. I remember of the that tour ever? Yeah, Epitaph probably just came out too, or it was like they were like early in that cycle. Yeah. Ah, fuck. I'm glad Tom and Jack like dragged me out for that. Yeah, there was another <laughs> tour. There's. I was been looking at some of these old tour lineups, and I'm like, oh my god, I would have killed the fucking scene this shit like was it? there was a tour that was like this was in 2007 and it was only in california and nevada it was like a week-long tour but it was brain drill discreet burning the masses and a breath before surfacing discreet yeah discreet <laughs> and uh i would have loved to see that show that would have been insane yeah that's a crazy <laughs> but half show. those band most of those bands three out of four of those bands four i don't think any of those bands exist anymore wait can you say any, the lineup again brain drill yeah Wait, Brain uh, Drill's not a band anymore? Well, they only put they don't play live. They did uh, they did that one album like five years ago and that was it. Hmm. Brain Drill, uh Discreet, mm-hmm. not a band anymore. Malcolm's mm-hmm. old band. Mm-hmm. But that I think that tour was before Malcolm was even in Discreet. Mm-hmm. Um But we're Burning the Masses. Mm-hmm. They're not a band anymore. Uh and then A Breath Before Surfacing, who's also mm-hmm. not a band anymore. They were kind of like a Knights of the Abyss type band, okay. like a Black Dahlia ripoff type yeah. thing. They were on Media Scare. I think mm-hmm. they had one album with them, and then that was it. Mm-hmm. But I liked them. I have that CD somewhere. Word. Yeah, but I would have loved to seen those bands. <laughs> I would have fucking loved that. Fuck, man. <laughs> That's such a bummer. But there might um, be some shitty cell phone footage. I yeah, somewhere. And then there was another yeah tour i saw where i was like fuck like that necrophages tour with like arsis i think job for a cowboy or animosity was on it job or something for, like that job for a cowboy was on yeah because i remember or all shall perish too i think maybe no or no um but i remember when job for a cowboy it was weird because like when you went I mean, oh and naraxis was on that tour no yeah i swear to god they were i think they were I or saw all and at a different venue with Ayla Maya and uh decrepit that Burr. was doug's uh, that was yeah, at that doug's. uh faceless planetary duality tour was on that one that logan one but uh it was funny because you go and it was blatantly obvious who were there for job for a cowboy and who were there for like necrophages of like course. of course such <laughs> a huge divide and yeah. as soon as job for a cowboy was done the fucking place cleared out mm-hmm. because they were at that was like the height of that band fucking cleared out all the kids were gone i was like whatever like we're gonna go right up front for necrophages and it's gonna be like the sickest thing ever and it it was (laughs) it was necrophages ion dissonance animosity arsis job for a cowboy and alarum that's nuts that was logan square auditorium it was the 4th of june in 2006 what a long time Yeah, ago. that's nuts. It was Necrophage just carving North America's Epitaph tour. <laughs> that's so wild. There was another mini tour. It was like uh, Necrophage just dying fetus beneath the massacre in Vale of Maya. <clears throat> I don't even think it came to Chicago, but really? I would have loved yeah. to seen that. That's yeah. a good lineup. Yeah. Oh, man. Tours were so cool back then, man. Yeah. Way cooler. Yeah. It's so weird. It's so weird thinking about how many bands have come and gone, too. Yeah, so many. Yeah. So, so many. Tough. The Shannon yeah. Metal Bands. They yeah. Keep shit going. Yeah. Very, very cost, Not very cost effective to be in a metal band. No. <laughs> At any time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that Breath Before Servicing album for the next Metalcore episode. It would kind of count. Not Death Metal? Not really. No. Breakdowns and stuff. That would be a fun one. Anyway. Getting off track here. Getting a little <laughs> off track here. Ahead, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, but it's just interesting to like fuck, what were we talking about before this? Public speaking. Public speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That shit is not easy. Yeah. Not easy. I definitely got better at it the more I practiced it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like learning tricks and shit in, in the class and stuff. And my teacher was a hard ass, so it was kinda like you had to get it right. That's like cool. I like yeah. a hard ass teacher, man. 
like I fucked up my first speech really badly. Like I failed it because I wasn't prepared at all and I didn't understand it. And then yeah. like by the next one, I got like an A because I like worked so hard on it. That's nice. Yeah. That's yeah. And shit. it was like we did a speech. It was like every other week, but it got to the point where I was like, I would always volunteer to go first because I just wanted to get it over with. Yeah. And then like, you know, watch everybody else and then like kick back and relax. But like got to the point where the teacher wouldn't even let me do that anymore <laughs> because really? I was the only one that would volunteer to go first. I was the only person that would always oh, do wow. that. Nobody else would ever. Yeah. Do that. So a, then they eventually. Good... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, they eventually made us. Uh, there was a couple times. Yeah. Where we would just randomly do it, like put our names in a hat and then we would go like from that order That's annoying. Like, it was very annoying because i would be first. so prepared to do the speech and then right, it'd be like yeah. fuck now i gotta like practice this for another two days which was right. sometimes good because yeah. it's like the more practice the better you go but then other times i would be like man i was ready to crush it today yeah right. that's a good yeah. spot to be in to like want to go first because you're yeah. prepared like oh yeah oh, man and you yeah. set the bar yeah. and then it's yeah. just yeah. like the bar that's that's cool yeah that's a good move another <laughs> one of my favorite speaking moments it was in high school i think i told this on here before but girl did a speech about how to wrap a christmas present and she oh. was one of, the, one of the people i was like super fucking nervous about doing public speaking mm -hmm. and uh she like botched it somehow like i think she had the the present the wrong way so yeah. it was like short but i just remember at one point when she took the wrapping paper out it was like <laughs> it was violently shaking. Was like, Whoa. Like, fuck. Like, and Aww. nobody wanted to laugh at her. Like, no. we're all in this together. Like, yeah. nobody wanted to laugh at her. And we're just like, all right, keep it together. Keep it together. Like, yeah. she can do it. She can do it. And yeah. she did it. She, I mean, yeah, I think she on. passed. But, like, I'll never forget the. the, the yeah. I was like, oh, no. I was like, she's yeah. so nervous right now. I, I think that <laughs> not not completely related to public. No, not related to public speaking at all. But, like, what the, the day that I met Tracy, I cooked. I, well, I made grilled cheeses. And nice. I, I don't remember this, but she said that when I was cutting the, when I was cutting the cheese, hey. <laughs> <laughs> when I was cutting the cheese, that my hand was shaking and she could hear the knife like, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't remember it's that. Funny. But, yeah. Were you nervous? Yeah. If, if that happened, I guess I was. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I definitely like, I mean, it was the first, first time meeting somebody. So sure, mm -hmm. surely there was. Surely there was a little bit of nervousness. Right. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's funny. I, I recall. <laughs> yeah, my nervous habits are I just talk a lot. Yeah. And like I yeah, fill I, all I the do, space. I do the same shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's my thing. Like my first date with Sam was just like me talking and talking and talking. And like <laughs> I'm just be being silent. like, well, Don't better be not run out. Yeah. 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 Good times. Yeah. See, my, my thing with like public speaking and this go this goes for like on stage and like a for, like actual public speaking or just yeah. like in like a social setting is that I always feel like I, I, I have more to offer to the conversation than my <clears throat> mouth allows me. Like as soon as I start talking, it's like my brain just goes blank and yeah. then I'll just say like some dumb shit and I'll be like, ah, oh, man, that's not what, that's not. I wanted to I be of value to this plan. to this of social course, yeah. this social cir circle this <laughs> conversation you know I wanted to say something of value but then I just like I, my brain goes blank and then I just like tell a dumb joke and then I just like yeah <laughs> yeah I'm done yeah, I'll see you guys again yeah. have a good one <laughs> yeah. yeah I like it when you could like that's why I like doing the preparing for speeches because it's just like you could literally write down everything you want to talk yes. about that way you're not like you're not just going off the I mean, that's the, your own too, shit you know, and then. Like, Oh yeah, you know, because if you're going off the cuff, mm -hmm. Lord knows where you're going to end up. And yeah, then, that's difficult. Yeah, you got to really know. know your shit to go off the cuff. Mm -hmm. One thing I learned <clears throat> helped me more in like a public setting was the fact that I don't. I think I think it multiple people would tell me, but then I, and I noticed myself that in almost any setting, if I'm talking to somebody, uh, I almost have like an anecdote for anything like something triggers some story in my head mm. yeah like, oh boom i can do it yeah um i can also depending on who i'm talking to i can gauge it like let's say i'm talking to my friends like parents or aunts and uncles like all right i know i got to keep it clean depending on who they are yeah. i can i can do that too i can kind of compartmentalize that yeah part of me because i can get pretty fucking vulgar out <laughs> 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 got plenty of those stories too but i got plenty yeah. of other ones too and so I learned that I was like, oh, I can kind of navigate through those things pretty well. And that kind of gives me like the confidence mm -hmm. I need when I'm going into like a public setting. So I'm never, yeah, yeah sure. I'm never, I never get too worried anymore about that stuff. Yeah. Um, that's cool. Some days I just, 
it just happens where I'm just like, I'm not in the mood to talk. Like I don't feel yeah. in the mood to talk. Like maybe I just don't have the energy for it or the brain just like the hamster is just not going as fast as same. You know, yeah. And it's just like, all right, we're hitting, we're sitting bench on this one. Just yeah. Let the day go. But I mean, I've done that too though. And then it gets harder when you be, when you're a guy that like people are used to you talking and then yeah. it's just like, when I'm like, fuck, I just kind of want to not talk. It's just like, it right. sucks. Cause then everybody's like, oh, is something wrong. Is anything, yeah. everything cool? And I'm like, yeah, everything's fine. It's just like, I need to like not. Today's a day. Off. Yeah. I need yeah, to like chill. chill. Yeah. I also don't do well in a setting if it's somebody that's like super high octane, like talker. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, I'm going to get talked over. I'm not going to bother. Yeah. Like, I never do well in those settings yeah, with people same, like that. I think you're here. the same way too. hundred percent. I don't, I, yeah. I like, I can, I can be energetic, but like all in all, I, I, per, I so much prefer to just be like chill. Oh like, yeah. 100%, I'm so yeah. much more of just like a weed guy than an alcohol guy. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. just oh, like, yeah. like as a personality, like when I'm at home, <laughs> good way to describe more, it. Yeah. You know, yeah. like I'm at home. I, I want to fucking sit. I want to lay down. I want to stretch. I want to drink some tea. I want to <laughs> fucking turn some incense on, put some frequency <laughs> some frequencies that you know like that meditation shit where it's just like <laughs> i'll turn that on for three hours man i'll listen Hell to that yeah, shit and i won't say a word yeah i love that shit man yeah yeah, yeah I'm, I'm all about that yeah so if somebody comes in like super high energy like so it sometimes there are people like that and they have like a really good personality that i i like really enjoy like oh um, yeah like i don't like, mind most of the time if, if a, like a friend of mine i'm like oh yeah let yeah. him go. He's going to yeah, entertain exactly. us. Like, it's going to be let great. Them, let them lead. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm good right now. I'll sit, sit back. But. What sucks is when you come across the guy that is that and is a fucking dickhead. Oh, And you're 100%. like, oh, yeah. like, fuck this. Yeah. Like, I'm out. I don't want to be around yeah. this. Yeah, those yeah. are the worst yeah. situations. Cause, yeah. Because then, like, you, you're around this energy and it's like you could hear him saying some dumb shit. And in me, in my head, I want to, like take like, be corrective and be like, no, you're fucking like, wrong. You're wrong. full of shit, yeah. man. You're wrong on that. But like they're just such a strong energy that I'm just like you know what I'm not gonna get through to them. And right, this is gonna be, it's such a tidal trouble. wave that you're yeah, like, I'm not yeah, stopping. Just, I'm this, this let it go. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. Good. I'm good. good. No, I remember. I don't know. It popped in my head the other day too. But there was so I used to hang out with like all these dudes out in like Berlin and stuff. And there was one guy in the group didn't particularly like, and he was one of those guys, the high energy, always talking, always asking about something. Yeah. And he always kind of had like a one up on people because he was like big and like very like niche like punk rock scene yeah. and like knew all these dudes in it and yeah. nobody really knew so what it was cred. so he had like he had cred, cred right <laughs> yeah and nobody really was in that world in that group so you couldn't really call him out on anything and you couldn't stop him he was yeah. ba 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 i show up and of course he's like you're a musician and was like trying to like Ugh. you know flex on me and i'm like yeah. I, you're talking to the wrong person i was like i don't know any of that i don't know i don't know mm-hmm. and I told Tom about it and Tom was like, Oh, I know this. I know that. Cause Tom was like a very knowledgeable guy on even music. He doesn't even like, Yeah, mm-hmm. he knows so much about it. I was like, all right, man. I was like, next time they invite me out, you're coming with and you're going to fucking school this guy. Like, I know you will. And he was like, yeah, he's like, I don't give a fuck. He's like, I'll fuck this guy up. Like, I was like, I know you will. I was like, it'd be great. So next time we go out and uh, sure enough, the dude's there. And I was like, I was like, that's the fucking guy. I was like, go ahead. Like, do do your worst Tom. like go for it so he starts doing it starts like trying to bust all his cred and tom is like cutting him off like oh i know the guy from this this group that group yeah oh this label that label oh this 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 and that yeah cutting him off every fucking corner and then the dagger at the end was like he's like the funny thing is i don't give a shit about any of that music either <laughs> and the guy was like shut down and just walk oh, away. Oh, wow. I was like, yes! I was like, yes, Damn. Tom, you're the best. There you <laughs> <go>. <laughs> it just made my day. It, was, it made my night. It was awesome. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Even like the other people were like, I can't believe you just did that to that guy. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's weird, man. It's weird when you talk to people that are so confident about shit and then they're wrong and you know they're wrong and you know for like a fact they're fucking wrong. Right. Yeah. And it's just like, what do I say? Like, do I say like, hey, man, you're completely wrong. Like and I do that shit about metal stuff all the time. Like Alex, <laughs> I love doing it with Alex because Alex always is well, like, guys oh, this will, yeah, it'll yeah. be like, this came out on that. I'm like, no. And I'm just like, <laughs> I, like, I would place like, I'll place bets with Alex. I'll be like, That's dude, awesome. I will bet. Well, we never do it. We never bet like money, but like, I'll be like, dude, I would bet you $50 sure. right now that you're wrong. Guess they're small. Yeah. Five bucks. 
five bucks. Yeah. yeah. Lunch, maybe. Start, yeah. Start betting the cat, the dog. <laughs> yeah, the house, my apartment, yeah. my lease, the car, my possessions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, man. But uh, yeah, it's like uh, when somebody's like, yeah, oh, remember when this came out this year? And you're like, mm, no, didn't come out that year. It came out this year. <laughs> and they're so sure of it. But then it's like one quick check and you're like, yo, I was right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, I hate being that guy. So I like now these days, I just kind of like but let it. Fun. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Like, it's not worth it. Yeah, yeah. They're so into talking talking about this i don't want to shit on him really? in, unless it's alex and then i'm just like that's fair. all right man yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ooh. fuck i am mm. so hungry these smells are making me so hungry i smelled that's something so sweet and then something hearty yeah i smell hearty hmm. go fuck it up yeah. i love to show him what he's doing wrong <laughs> no, no, yeah no. I don't, like, all, I don't like being just like you guys are talking about that. I don't right. like, I don't like being I'm like sure that. you do. Yeah. Yeah, pe- yeah. People are so defensive about their like cooking, like I'm technique sure. and shit. Cause a lot, a lot of that has to do with like tradition. Sure. Like fam- like, oh you yeah. Know, you try to t- stuff. Yeah, somebody's yeah. doing something that they've done their, they're like cooking onions a certain way that they've done their whole life because that's how their mom did it. Yeah. And then who the f- I'm going to come along and be like, no dude, you're doing that wrong. It's just, just like, yeah, it's, not, it's not worth it. Just like it's, he's <laughs> happy yeah. to do it the way he's doing it. It's like fine. You know? Yeah. I remember when yeah. you were showing one time I came over to your place and we were watching this Italian, sh- I, it was something about an Italian um, kitchen. Uh, it was the show Chef's Table with yes. an episode about Massimo Bottura. Yes. yes. Yeah. 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 What a name. Massimo Essentially, Bittura. that's a strong name. They yeah, showed fucking strong. Name. I'll do a horrible job recapping this episode, no, but recap. it was Go like on. this dude who was talking about because I guess in Italian culture they're super like you know tradition yeah, with very, like how they do everything and yeah, it's they don't like new shit. Yeah, so it's like this guy comes along and starts doing all this different shit, and like people were giving him shit about yeah. it, and then like yeah. finally it got to the point where they realized he was like a genius, yeah. and like <laughs> he's like, isn't his restaurant one of like the top? It it was rated I. At least once, maybe two or three times. I don't remember if it was consecutive or not, but yeah, rated number one in the world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. And and I've been like, yeah. with you, I've been watching more cooking shows and yeah. shit. Like, even if it's just like, fuck, that's gel- delicious with Dude, Action Bronson and shit. I love that show. Yeah, man. it's great. I love that show. The last season they did, it's just so, it's, they're, they're, El- they're like elegant slobs yeah I, it's, sick. I, it's so fun to watch like you you smoke and watch this show yeah. it's just so delightful yeah you know very oh, delightful man, it's so good i yeah. watched uh with eddie and Alyssa this like barbecue reality mm-hmm. show that was on i think it was on netflix but it was yeah. so sick i wish I, f- I forgot what it was called but like i think you told me about you know that. they were doing episodes where it was like they were cooking like traditional barbecue food and i'm yeah. just like fuck i want to eat all of it but then they would like <laughs> go to these like old school techniques and use like all these crazy like ancient ways of cooking barbecue yeah. and like cooking weird shit i would definitely never eat yeah. and i would be i was still just like <laughs> interesting to watch how they would do it and stuff and yeah, it's just crazy. Like everything that goes into that stuff, yeah, even just like is. that guy's story, Massimo's story. It's just like, yeah. wow, this is like nuts. Yeah, it's really cool to watch. That dude's awesome. Yeah, like he made like a broken glass dish or something that was, yeah, or something like that, or spilled paint. Was, I think it was like a like de- deconstructed, which basically means like you take out the each individual component of a dish and then you like prepare it in a new way. So for oh. him, I th- I think it was like a lemon meringue pie or a lemon tart or something. Yeah, and he did like like lemon meringue pies. You have your crust, you have the lemon curd, and then you have the meringue. There's yeah, three, three components. So he like took the crust and he did one thing with that, and he did the curd, and he did one thing with that. And I think it was that he did like it was like the the curd. He like it was like a splatter on the plate. Yes, and then like the the meringue, he like shattered it so it was yeah. like shards of it or it something was cool. shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Fuck, this is making me yeah. so much more hungrier than I already I'm am. Starving, man. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah. yeah, that show is really cool. I should watch more of that. Even that yeah. pizza show you showed the pe- me. The pizza sh- Yeah, the, the pizza, pizza show. show. Yeah. Really love, good. Dude, fuck that fuck that's delicious is great. The pizza show. I that's such a easy watch. That yeah. one. Because it's it's pizza, so it's like fun. And the, I, I really like the host is like I don't remember his name, Frank Frank Pinello, I think his name is. Um I just I I like him because he he's like a dude that you could tell like respects his grandma. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like, he's just like a family man, and he's just yeah. like he's just going around having pizza and he's having a good time. He's, yeah. got, he's got good manners and mm-hmm. stuff. I like that. I like that in, in like a cooking show host. I don't like when the hosts go around and they're like shit talking and like I don't I don't I want, yeah I want I want a nice I want a nice. 
person, a pleasant you know? person. Yeah, ple- yeah, yeah. <laughs> Food doesn't have to be all this like shit talk and stuff. So, um, yeah, those two are good. Um, chef's table it can get pretty pretentious at time, but times, but it's still interesting, and uh, I like it's beautifully filmed. It's beautifully filmed. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's another one that's like a good in between called I think it's called Mind of a Chef, and it's on PBS. Okay, and yeah, it's it's like if chef's table was less about like the gossip and the story yeah. and more about like, like more of an academic approach sure. and just like, that's cool though. How certain things are done. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I like that show a lot. They cooked lot was cool stuff. too, that we watched yeah. on Netflix. Co- cooked is awesome. Cooked is fucking Cause that's like pulling out of like talking about the individual and just talking about like the, the impact overall of like food on culture and health and tradition and history and yeah shit. yeah that's that's a that's like one of my favorite cooking shows yeah for sure it's a cool one for sure i love that show man yeah fucking i've been watching cooking shows my whole life i i <laughs> good yeah like i remember when I, I i don't mean to like drag this out or anything so cut me off no okay. so like, but like i remember like i didn't really have role models growing up but yeah I, I remember in high school i think it was like i was in spanish class and we had to write about a role model yes i didn't know who to, i was like i fucking hate having to do those essays dude me too i Ugh. didn't know who to write about so I, I i think i wrote either about like paula dean or alton brown well, okay. Alton was, brown yeah. is paula dean's in like hot water right now yeah right? yeah she's yeah. a hot water but she's all right she just likes a lot of butter and man right <laughs> sure <laughs> Is she still in hot water? I don't know. She got in trouble she for that YouTube. wedding thing. Oh, she's yeah, got a YouTube channel? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, she's old. Well, she got old. dropped from uh, Food Network yeah, for saying yeah. the N-word or yep. something. At yep. a wedding. Yep. Stupid. Years ago or something like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, she just does YouTube now. Alton Brown. Everybody, do, all those people, they move to YouTube, YouTube now. Yeah. Yeah. Alton Brown has a YouTube thing I mean, it's on. great. It's like, You don't have anybody to, you know, talk, you know, be your boss. You're yeah. your own boss. Yeah, you so do fuck it. Do whatever you want. And nobody's gonna tell you otherwise. And you can learn. And this Paula is, Dean in a magazine and shit. Like my mom used to get Paula God Dean's magazine God. and yeah. stuff in the mail. Yeah, she was big. That's cool. Yeah. She's on YouTube though. Like yeah. I mean, yeah, it is. You still are a fan. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I, th- I just feel like I don't know. I wouldn't say that I'm still a fan of Paula. I mean, I still like her and everything, but like that's just who I grew up with. Those were like the two yeah. shows that I, yeah. that I watched the most. Yeah. It was Paula Dean, Ho- Paula Dean's Home Cooking. I don't remember the name of the show. And then Good Eats with Alton Brown. And I like mm. Good Eats because that was one that like went into like a little bit into food science and explained like why certain ingredients work the way that they do. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. And cool. yeah, he he he's very much like an academic approach. Hell to yeah. Is that where they had them on Mythbusters? <laughs> did they have them on Mythbusters? <laughs> they did one where uh, they wanted to see if you can cook an entire Thanksgiving dinner literally inside a car oh, okay. driving to the place. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, well, he's like, Technically, you know, because yeah, he has like that knowledge, like yep. the more scientific aspect of it yeah. to be like, well, if you do it like this, this, and that, you know, you need it to do this. And mm-hmm. sure enough, I think most of it actually worked. And that's like cool. one thing, one or two things didn't, but yeah, that's a great episode. <laughs> that's, that's sick. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Alton Brown and them. Yeah. I, cooking shows, man, cooking shows and cookbooks. That's like the thing that I've been into for the longest, probably. And I, I, I never, I mean, I didn't really realize it until like recently. They're like, truly acknowledge until i started doing this youtube thing it was like mm. dude i spend the most of my money on ingredients and cookbooks <laughs> i have so many cookbooks That's i love a good my thing cookbooks, to spend money man. on though oh yeah, you have sick yeah. cookbooks too yeah i have a lot of nice, really nice cookbooks i will fucking love my those are like probably my prized possessions fuck yeah like i could fuck my computer fuck my bed <laughs> fuck my i could <laughs> i'll get books. rid of my camera but like if i get keep my books man i love my yeah cookbooks. yeah they're cool that's some good shit yeah i want to write one yeah you should <laughs> that'd be awesome <laughs> fuck yeah yeah hell yeah so what is uh what's a what's a vegetable what's your favorite vegetable to cook with and what's your least favorite vegetable to cook oh, with? oh good Jesus. question um that's hard yeah i because i would i don't know like it's obviously are we not talking? all vegetables are created equal some exactly. are probably harder to cook with than some others are harder and... to cook with some go better with certain things it depends on what mood you're in and a lot of them are like better when you combine them yeah you know? right like, well, i mean it's all chemistry you know? yeah and i've like since this is like the broccoli month i've eaten mostly broccoli like i've <laughs> eaten the same breakfast every day pretty much this whole <laughs> month soft scrambled eggs uh jasmine rice and steamed broccoli with like some soy sauce and then i have like 
different flavor. I have like chili oil. I have natto oil, just like it's flavored, spicy, aromatic oil. The natto oil is dope because it's got like ginger, garlic, and lemongrass, and it tastes it tastes Sounds almost awesome. sour like mm-hmm. lemons. It's like it's 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 good. It's good shit. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, favorite. Uh, I mean, right. My brain is just saying broccoli. Because broccoli. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's on the mind. Yeah, and it's yeah. like versatile, and I know what to do with it. But it, although mushrooms aren't a, a vegetable, they're technically a, a fung a fungi, a fungi. It falls yeah. In a yeah, the fungi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's used in preparations similar to like vegetables for the most time. Like I fuck with mushrooms. Mushrooms are so weird. They're so oh, weird, yeah. and they take and they take like the flavor. It's so surprising the flavor that you could get out of a mushroom when you cook it right. I fucking love mushrooms. Mm-hmm. Um, but things I don't like, I have not had okra in a way that I like it. I don't like the slime. I can't do slime. Yeah, the okra that, and, okay. and cactus. I can't do. I can't uh, do. The I've slime. had it's like, like pickled cactus. Boogers. Did you like it? Uh, I was alright. My mom really likes it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, eh, it's alright. Not for me. Go that and um. And I've never had okra because like a lot of people I know say the same thing. Yeah, like yeah, slime, if it's not man. cooked right, oh, you're fucked. Brutal. And so dude. I've it's heard like it's eating, hard to find a place that does it well. It's like if you like coughed up like phlegm into your own mouth. <laughs> right. Ew. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If they if they yeah. cook it like shit. Yeah. yeah. Or you can yeah. have it where it's like too grainy too or something like that. Right. Yeah. Or, prob- uh, probably. I uh, I know I. I'm so distant from knowing okra. anything about. I'm not in my okra month yet. I'll get there. Are one you? Day. So you, are you? You're gonna cook with okra? I want to do every yeah. every fucking vegetable. Like That's I'm good. Yeah. Right right now, I'm just starting with like the things that are searched for the most. So that way, oh, I, so okay. that way, so that's why. Bro- that, okay. That, yeah, you mentioned that. That gives me the, the most uh, opportunity for what's the a word? Uh, asshole. <laughs> yeah, that gives me the most asshole opportunity. Perfect. <laughs> no, just get like awareness, awareness. Because right go. now, as like a, a new channel, like I'll, I just need awareness. So the best way to do that is just do what's popular. Yeah, um, yeah. No, but that's ev- a great approach. Eventually, I want to get into the weird things. Like I think they're called fiddleheads. Fiddlehead. Fiddlehead fern. Hmm. Wait, let me look it up real quick. Fiddlehead. The weird shit like that. Fiddleheads, morel <laughs> mushrooms, uh, sun chokes. Fiddlehead. Fiddlehead looks like it looks like some. Uh, Tim Burton. It's, it looks like a really? vegetable that Tim Burton made. Really? But yeah, it's just like a little, <laughs> like a little spiral thing. Yeah, my, my internet What's doesn't work down here. Mostly? Um, it's it it's a a spring thing, mm-hmm. and it uh, I think that those could get slimy too. Actually, I might be wrong, but like it that that's like one of the first things that pops up with in spring. So people, I'm pretty sure people use it very similarly to like asparagus. I might have yeah. that completely wrong. I'm not in the fiddlehead month. Right. But yeah. Yeah. Those things. Aren't they weird looking? Yeah. yeah you, you nailed I, it with the, the Tim Burton esque kind of. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that it's because it, huh. it's fiddlehead fern. And I'm pretty sure that it like it's curled and then it grows up and then it grows into oh, a plant. Nice. So right. they, they just harvest it before it like completely before, before it, it goes right. un, unfurls. I might have the wrong again. It's not fiddlehead. Month, but, <laughs> have you ever eaten this? I think I did once. They're pretty bitter. Yeah, at least from the one that I had. Mm. But yeah, yeah, fiddle fiddleheads. I want. I want to learn those. Wait, did I answer the question? Mushrooms, broccoli, okra. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good question. Yeah. 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 Broccoli's great, man. You can just. Have, I I could eat that with every meal. What so vegetable easy. are you looking forward to the most? Um, I feel like mushrooms, just because I like them so much, and I feel there's a lot of cool stuff that you could do with them, and. I feel like they're becoming more and more trendy because mm. of the like um what people are realizing that like the health aspect of eating mushrooms lately, whether it be like the psilocybin or actual like edible mushrooms like lion's mane, mm. lion's mane or uh um I can't think of any at the top of my head right now, but um I feel like there's a lot of cool stuff to do with those like and and that'll be a, a good opportunity because I feel like there there's this this trend that I see now, at least like uh what a lot of like the bigger channels are posting videos on are um biri, biria biria yeah. tacos. It's like um they they make like a big soup with like uh I think traditionally it's lamb, but it's like it might be braised, I can't remember, but it's like lamb with a bunch of chilies, garlic, and they just cook oh, it in yeah. this big pot until the it's like you could shred it uh-huh. with two forks and then um 
they take the tortillas and they dip them in the that juice and then they Ooh. they put they fry them and put um like cheese and then the shredded lamb and then you're supposed to eat it with a cup of that broth and dip the taco in the broth. And I see <laughs> this sounds amazing. Dude, it looks awesome. <laughs> and I see a ton of people posting videos on it and the other day I was like, "Oh, I should do that but with like mushrooms. I could I could do like yeah. a big fucking mushroom birria hmm. taco something like that." But yeah, mushrooms have a lot of like opportunity to do weird shit like that. But Will you do mushrooms? Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. definitely. I think that I want, I'm going to do that. I don't know. I want I want to do it sooner. I I want it ah, so hard. <laughs> it it depends. It depends. My my initial thought was when I was doing 3 videos a week. So I would have done like two vegetables a month instead of one. Mm-hmm. I I would I was going to do like April or May with asparagus and mushrooms cuz that's like when they're I'm do I'm trying to do things in order of the season. Yeah. Um and yeah, I was going to do mushrooms in the spring so i could do morel mushrooms because i don't think there are that many like morel mushroom videos on youtube so that would be a cool niche to get into um but uh right now i I don't know if i'm gonna do it then i might do it in the fall sick yeah well fuck yeah yeah (laughs) fuck yeah man i'm excited that's awesome i love it yeah i said like i love the video they're great yeah i appreciate it yeah to make hopefully it. people are learning yeah. yeah i hope so i hope so yeah it's a good time I, for it. i'm sure a lot of people are cooking at home now with exactly oh yeah yeah so. yeah i just say yeah, i want to give people the right information and stuff yeah one day good i'm gonna try that broccoli cheddar soup yeah, you should man dude it's good. it looks good so soup. good are you it's gonna really do that cream soup. of potato soup ever you think cream of potato soup. that you made for me on my birthday last year not last year but 2018 <sighs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I could do that. That was yeah, great, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and when I get to regular, like, potato if potato. anything, I'll take the recipe for that too. Yeah, yeah okay. Because I would I'll love to make that. Me. Yeah, I would do like a it's year's easy. worth of videos with just potatoes. Oh, definitely, <laughs> yeah. man. Definitely. That's got to be one of the most versatile yeah. vegetables out Absolutely. there. Yeah, right? it's yeah. got to be. Yeah, potatoes are. Yeah, yeah, you could do a lot of mashed potato. Hell yeah, mashed potato, baked potato, fried <laughs> potato, steamed potato, Ice baked potato, microwave potato, potato soup. Yeah. <laughs> potato hats, potato <laughs> shoes, potato, potato clothes, potato chips, yeah, potato sandwiches, potato sacks, yeah. <laughs> sous vide potatoes, Sick. potato salad. Well, fuck yeah, yeah, very good. All Thanks right, shall us. we wrap it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Let's thank fucking you. do it. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, thank um, you guys. Honestly, I appreciate this it. This is the plug point where can people find these videos. Oh, I just got my own YouTube custom URL, so you could go. Nice. To Congrats. YouTube. I think it's youtubecom slash c for channel slash how to cook vegetables how to cook vegetables and you nice can, you can find that on instagram you can find it shortly on, i'll have a facebook page soon of facebook group uh i got a twitter but i'm mostly active for sure youtube primarily and then i'm second most active on instagram where i post like behind the scenes shit tiktok too i got a tiktok oh, oh did yeah. you really yeah nice i took a class and everything hell yeah <laughs> on tiktok <laughs> yeah wow yeah. that's awesome yeah. yeah that's cool man fuck yeah yeah well yeah. sick how to cook vegetables yeah, follow it, it. Out. yeah follow subscribe any any sort of engagement is enormously appreciated hell yeah sincerely enormously appreciated do we got to find yeah. a way to collab somehow yeah nothing's yeah, for fun. no one yeah. and we'll do it yeah we're gonna start doing how, yeah. how to eat vegetables vegetables man yeah, yeah. if you do that we will definitely be down yeah. Oh I'll have God, to eat vegetables, dude. Yeah. Oh, I'll yeah. have to eat them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. sure we can. We'll we can fake yeah. it, right? We can CGI. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, CGI <laughs> vegetables. Yeah, like an oversized here's, like potato. Here's this broccoli, and it's like a, a, a green piece yeah. of tape. Yeah. <laughs> mm, <laughs> wow, <yeah>. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, sweet. Thanks for coming on the show, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank Alrighty, you appreciate it. Catch y'all next week with the music free for Ooh, all. Plug-in. Uh, why did I say that? Um, what am I plugging? <laughs> Nothing. I really don't have much else to plug. I would normally be plugging Adrian's show, but <laughs> since you're on the show to plug it yourself, I really don't have much else to plug. I can't think of anything. Uh, how to cook vegetables. Yeah. How to cook them. Subscribe. Like, comment, share. You even give it a thumbs down. That's, that's still fine too. It's engagement, right? Yeah. It counts. Yeah. It counts. And if you do count. that, I will find you yeah. and fucking <laughs> kill you. Yeah. <laughs> I won't, but. I'd be disappointed we'll in you. Yeah, I will kiss you yeah. until you like it. Yeah, you can even leave a leave some a shitty comment, anything you want, man. <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever floats your boat. What about you? You got something to plug? I got nothing. You got Same nothing? old shit. Check out the bands. Alrighty.
Well, sweet guys. <laughs> Thank you. Check out the bands. Check out music. Check out how to cook vegetables on this week's episode of Nothings for No One. Hi. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Nothings for No One. If you enjoyed, please like, follow, subscribe, comment, and share with your grandma and listen with your dog. Thanks. Nice. That was good. Hell yeah.